Hey guys, Archie Luxury, and you are on the Archie Luxury channel. Guys, I uh, I went out last night. Went out to Nana Stomping Ground. That's right, guys. I went to Nana Nana Plaza. Holy fuck! Holy fuck! That place has changed. Holy shit! I tell you what, there's weed everywhere. Weed. Hmm. Weed. Um, weed everywhere. Yeah, yeah. I went. I went to Nana. <laughs> now, guys, let's. I tell you what we'll do. Let's start the show. Run the theme, and let's start this baby. Here we go, baby. <laughs> Hey guys, Archie Luxury here, Archie Luxury Channel. I'm feeling a little bit seedy at the moment. I went out. What did I do? I'll tell you what I did. I went out to Nana, Nana Plaza last night. Holy fuck. And guys, I didn't just dwibble. I had I had two beers. I went to two go-go bars. Went to two go-go bars. I went to Spanky's. I went, I went in and had a look. Where did I go? I went all over the soy i went all i went all over the soy guys and uh i had a good time yeah i did i did have a i had a good time uh geez that place has changed holy fuck <coughs> it's changed it's changed it's uh oh the the plaza is all it does uh, it's it's, it's it's some improvements, security improvements, um, but there's also some disappointment. Look, it, it is what it is. It, I had a good time. I had a good time. Speaking of good times, I got the world's greatest dog trainer just joining me. Hello, Hi. Mr. Goldberg. How are Negroni. you? How about a morning Negroni as a quick pick me up? You look a little. You know what? I'm ha you know what? I am having something to drink at the moment. Here the ooh Alka Seltzer. Is it was it help or was it gonna make me vomit? Uh you know, being vomiting at this point might be the best thing for you. <laughs> Sick, mm -hmm. Cough it all up. Yeah, and he had two beers. And he had two beers to be That's completely honest. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I went out there. It's it's really speaking of getting out there, we got our favorite fair on the stream, Mr. Clooney. How are you? Hey guys, hi Marky, hi Archie. Yeah. Hey, man, I went out last night. I went to Nana Plaza. I went and did the, the. I went and had a look around, and I also went into a couple of bars. Did you bar find anybody? You know how expensive that is now. I it's, don't. You should tell me. It's dear. Is it's it? dear. Yeah. It's um. It's dear. It's dear. Bear, he's out of practice. Bear, he's just out of practice. Look at him. I can't afford it, but you know how much I've got literally at the moment. I'll be no bullshit with you. I'll tell you, literally have about a hundred dollars in two bank accounts. Goodness. And I got about um How are you gonna pay the hotel bill? Uh the hotel's been paid for. I see. What are we gonna eat? Okay. How are you gonna eat? I've got taxi to the airport mm. and I'm I'm for the next couple of days. I've got street food, and on Saturday, I've got Johnny Bangkok is taking me out for for, for, for lunch. Oh, you know what you're going to have to do? Is that here's, what, here's what you – I recommend that you um, find the maid cart and take a whole lot of shampoo, and then you can trade it on the street for juice. And once you have a couple of premium squeezes – you can lay you know down. They charge you a drink at these nightclubs. It's 160 baht. 
Well, that's not bad. 165 baht a beer. There's, there's a show. There's 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 a dan there, there's dancing girls. Are they wearing numbers on their underwear or their bra? That's seven dollars a beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's a show. It's a, it's a booby bar. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. I went to a shower show yesterday. Ooh, not a soapy, but a shower. Shower show, like oh. I said, yeah. Where they had the, like the glass booth, like up on stage. No, they had like a bathtub in the middle of the stage, and they. they, they <laughs> That's awesome. It's, you know, for like a. For like a small they were so not into it. Now I know what bears dealing with. Now I know what bears dealing with. They were so not into it. What do, What do you mean? What is bear dealing with? Uh, it's a, it's an internal Clivers joke. Okay. Oh. I see. Basically, that I bear has to keep me motivated. I keep nodding oh, wow. off, and yeah, 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 I don't yeah. want to be here. And oh, you know, you're the, you're you're a bored bar girl. I I totally get it. Yeah, wow. bored bar girl without yeah. the tits. Yeah. Well, no, 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 not not without, <laughs> not at all without. <laughs> Let's not underestimate that those tits. <laughs> Something amazing that I found there is that there was actually a lot of uh, Dark-colored girls in Nana plying their trade. Well, they, they come in from... And uh, also, there yeah. was some European, I would say more Eastern European and Middle Eastern European. Always been a lot of Russian girls. In, uh, what is Middle Eastern European, by the way? I'd love to know. What is Arabic. That? Arabic. So they're Middle Eastern Europeans? They're Arabic. Mm. And it's also yeah, it's 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 um, a lot of money there. Anyway, those Eastern Europeans when they do the lady boy thing, fuck, they look ugly. No, the uh, the the Thai know how to do the lady boy thing because they're delicate. They do the Thais do, but the Eastern yeah. Europeans when they do it, fuck, yeah. it's, yeah, it's bad. Bear. It is bad. Okay, because they're, <laughs> because they're big boned. You can't have a big bone. You ask someone and they say, lady boy, they're gay. No, they're not gay. Gay men are turned on by other men. They're not turned on by a man trying to pretend to be a, le a girl. Well, you know what? Friends. To be honest with you, though, I, I, I don't know how much of a pretense it is because they're like halfway there. They take hormones. They get boob jobs. So, I, I mean, they're halfway there. They're, they're in transition. They're yeah. Yeah. But um, well, I think you should take us back to the shower show. I'm sure the punters would like a little, you know, a little detail on how that works. Yeah, I got to take. Well, basically, there's a bathtub, and they take a bath for forty, well, for thirty minutes. How many girls? Um, you know what? Hmm. You had two girls. There's hmm. about six girls standing behind them, and yeah, two yeah. girls actually in the bathtub were they like scrubbing each other down yeah sort of that's exactly it i that's feel like exactly. the guys like this is not my scene but you know these are your people out here i feel like they could use a little you know description uh, you, you know uh, help them out a little bit here i'll bring up some pictures i've just got some photos here <laughs> you. Now, you, yeah you know actually well this is these, I'll tell you something. Well, the funny thing is, okay, so th this is what Nana Plaza looks like. Right? Here we go. You didn't take pictures in the bar, did you? Because they'll beat you up for that. No, they'll beat the fuck out of you. And yeah, the thing is, now what they got is they got a security security ensemble out the front here. Yeah. Over one million visitors a year. Yeah, I believe that. The world's largest adult playground. It's like two stories of bars everywhere as you walk three in. Three stories. Three stories. Okay. Three stories. It's like a complex. Three, of them. Yeah. Um, it has 24 a go go bars and three standalone bars spread across three floors. Here's interesting. This is what it used to look like the Nana Plaza. It was used to be Nana Plaza Shopping Center. See here? You can still go shopping there. <laughs> well, no, they used to have tailors and stuff there. You know, not anymore. They, they, they still then, have tailors. That middle place. part was a car park. They used to be a car park. Right? Yeah, now it's all bars. Now it's all bars. Look at that. Booby bars. And, um, here we go. That's it now. Look at that. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. That's crazy. That's crazy. And those are all guys. Those are all like different spots. They're all like under different ownership, different girls. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, well, I went and walked through most of them last night. I went through there. All of them. Uh, Did you go up to the third floor? Actually, I started on the second because anything on the ground floor is very busy and expensive. Yeah. So I started at the second floor, and um, I got to be honest with you. Um, it was. Uh, it was I appalling. Mean, to be honest, it, it is what it is. Okay, I'll be honest with you. It appalling. Were you uh, sorry for the girls? Did you try and give one a scholarship? I think they were some of these girls. Bear, I'll be totally honest with you. They're earning more than me at the moment. Bear, oh, they can do well if they're if they're hot. Not well. Now they're not all hot there either, are they? Though. You, you see, no, don't you no, see? I, no, but I I went for the lesser bars. I like the. I went to the bars. Um, I wanted to have the lesser bars because they give a bit more better service. They, they give it, better. Uh, Archie, the, the bars that are disturbing are the ones that have all the girls in there with the cesarean section scars. <laughs> you know, have you seen that? With the, I with like the that. What's wrong with that? They're slightly, <laughs> that's okay. No, you're going to get a discount because they got a zipper. Oh, that's okay. There they are. Look, I'll be honest with you. I had a good, I went to a couple bars. Had a One thing that I found really quite amazing mm -hmm. is the fact that the whole area smells of weed we are far i i never that was never a thing in my day no last the time i was there it was illegal and they would put you away for many years for it oh, you, you, oh. You know, yeah no you would go to the bangkok monkey house for that but now ooh. yeah no 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 exactly right mr gmt exactly. mr gmt's joining the screen how are you oops there he is how are you mr sexy How's it going, gentlemen? What's happening? Hey, and we just say hello to our other guest, Machine Gun Chris. How are you, Machine Gun Chris? Good. How are you guys doing? Super chat. Hey, we're fantastic. We got a super chat from Toyota Mo, medium legend, two bucks. Throper. Oh, come Throper on. Super chat. Super. Super. Say it. Super. Super chat. Super chat. There we go. So. You know what I was really looking for last night? Can I can I tell you this? Mm -hmm. And I wanted to clarify this with you, Marky. Mm -hmm. You know, of course, I went there with Mrs. Lai. She yeah. wanted to see the boys' bars. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you got a toy, um... So those boy bars, they're like bisexual, aren't they? They're not just home. They're not just... No, the boy bars are boy bars in the soy loam, I think, is where. So they're gay, or what are they? Yes. Can I clarify? You no, know, you want to go to God, you want to go to DJ. Those are the two, real two hopping places there. And yeah, yeah but I mean, can ladies pick up guys there? You know, for or they're a, gay for a certain fee. I mean, if you go to the look, look if you go to the uh, to the girl bars or to the go go bars, it's kind of like anything <laughs> goes, but the you know, it's anything goes. Anything, anything for the guys. Anything for a bot. You get a lot for your bot in the bar. Okay, so, so do you ever see in these gay bars? Do you see older Western women there? No, no. Where do they go? That's what I'm asking, That's what I'm asking you, Mark. You, Mark. Uh, you know, women don't have the same facilities as men. They're not nearly as nasty, so they don't they don't do what we do. They don't do but, what we but do. But where does if ladies come to Bangkok and they want to have a Toy Boy, where do they go? You know what? There's a bar in Patia called Toy Boy, and I can assure you, they don't go there. <laughs> they don't go there. Uh, I don't know. Maybe they go on the dating apps. You know, honestly, you, you know, though some of the guys in the some of the gay some of the go go dancers in the gay bars are are married with children, girlfriends, that kind of thing. And they're just gay for pay. So maybe is that, is that does that sicken you gay for pay? I mean, listen, I'm I'm not one to judge what people do for a living, really, am I? No. Uh, no, I, I'm not I'm 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 non-judgmental. I, I listen, I mean, honestly, we're we gotta be honest here. We're talking, you know, the, we're talking about prostitution, you know, but in Thailand, guys, it's so 
baked into certain, not the culture, but into certain sections of these cities that um, it, it might as well be in the, in, the, in the Thailand handbook, you know? And this is how they make their money. And some of them build houses for their families that way. So, or a lot of them do really. So it's, um, it's just become part of the culture. And I'm, I'm not one to judge, except for this super chat from Yankee Doodle on the board. Super, super chat, super chat, super chat. Where have you been? Yankee Doodle, two bucks. Best watch for my aunt who used to be my uncle. So I would say that that, that needs, needs to be a unisex. Would you agree with that, Marky? You need to oh, get a unisex. 36 millimeter date just because it runs right down the middle. <laughs> Oh, 36. What about 34? Yeah, it's getting a little too small. 34. I mean, she might not be that delicate. You know, his his aunt might have a seven inch wrist. You know, so get the new tutor with the pink dog. Oh my god. Yeah. I, I, what so do you think of that new tutor, by the way? That's the David Beckham collab. What do yeah. you think? Yes, I want to ask you, Mark. Yes, no. Will well, it will it give my rainbow friends a boner if I yeah. wore the pink dial tutor, does it give me the rainbow? The moment I strength? seen it, uh, the same moment they called my AD. Me too. Uh, me too. He doesn't think he's going to get one. I don't think well, any of us are. Is it a limited supply or something? Or they, uh, yeah. Very, very, very limited. Uh, what, the, what they said, uh, what they said, <laughs> Mr. Beautiful, uh, Mr. Sexy, in, in the announcement this morning on Instagram, Tudor said, hey, if you don't like it, don't worry. We'll be making very few of them. That, that's what they said. So um, I, I don't know how many, but very few. I think it'll probably just be boutique only to a few celebrities. But Bear, I did the same thing that you did. <laughs> I called everybody. I actually, I actually love it, to be I very love honest it. with you. It's uh, right. And uh, for a few, for few reasons, I love the... I obviously love the uniqueness of the dial, which is done really nice. Uh, the little red. Here we go. Uh, red, screen now, guys. Here we go. Yeah, it's incredible. The little red uh, written there. You see. Uh, you see what I'm talking about? The it's little not, red writing. Yeah, it's not candy pink, but it's kind of like cherry blossom pink. It's it's. I can uh, see you right. pulling it off, Mark. And then five. Uh, Five link bracelet is also very nice uh, on this. So, right, I, uh, yeah, uh, yeah I, I, I like it. For that I, can I like it a lot. I really do. There's very few of the punters are going to want it, but there's going to be even fewer of them made. So, don't if you don't, well, like it, don't worry, guys. Marky, the thing is, once they realize what this is all about, everyone will want it. You know what? That is the one. That is the one tutor that is going to go for. Can you explain to us Bill, what this watch is all about? Well, it's the, it's the same chrono as all. Well. They've just. This is going to sell probably double or triple, triple and over the retail. Two, three, triple? four times retail uh, easily, easily. For sure, and it's going to be very short production as well. Look, I'm not. I'm not really into uh, soccer or football, but this is done in conjunction with a particular football team who who's called right. Miami. Miami with uh, with the uh, Leo Messi. So oh, this okay. is this is huge. This is absolutely did, huge. Did Beckham play for Miami for a short period of time? Uh, Beckham, yes, he was involved, and I think he's all involved in the ownership of the Miami as well. Yeah, I think so. Yes, yeah. something like that. Yeah, so he's also he was involved in a he was also involved in an EV business where they take classic cars and they turn them into EV vehicles, which just filed for um, administration. Okay. Well, bad. It was a bad idea. Because it was a silly idea. The whole point of buying a E-Type Jaguar or a Mercedes SL is the motor. Is for that fucking drivetrain oh, and yeah. engine. Yeah. You you load the fucking thing down with fucking a ton of battery. It ain't gonna fucking feel the same way anymore, is what it? What do you think about an EV nine thirty combo kit, conversion kit? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's a different. It's a different thing. Bear, I gotta ask you something, okay? Bear. 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 Wake up, bear. Pay bear. attention, bear. Bear, pay attention. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm waiting. Ask. You don't have to do dramatic pause. Just ask. 
<laughs> I'm going to ask you, I saw something on my feed this morning, okay? I want to bring this up and ask you guys. <clears throat> um, you know how Curly sometimes refers to me as a man-child? <laughs> not just sometimes, a, yeah. Sometimes or all the time. time. It's not just sometimes. Okay, this is what came up in my feed here. This is a, actually a, a, a feed here. He's a man child. Okay, so that they're hearing the words. I have zero respect for my husband. He's a man child. So do you have <laughs> zero respect for your pontiff? He's a man child. Is that a negative? I, th I thought that was a positive being a man child. I thought well, they were referring. You thought that Curly's calling you positive name, really? <laughs> <laughs> like seriously? But th this guy here was saying he this 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 lady was saying he's a man child, like it's a negative thing. I know a man child. Wouldn't that be good if he's a man child? He could fuck like crazy, couldn't he? I, I feel like Curly like says it in a loving way. <laughs> he does the same. Oh, he does. He does. Super chat. Mm, I don't know about that. <laughs> super okay, chat. We got a super chat in here. We got Eric L. Two dollars. Two dollars. Sorry guys. Sorry guys. This tutor is Ms. Piggy. So yeah. Oh, you know what? I'll, I actually bear. I quite like it. I you sent know? you another another picture that really took my breath away. I sent it to your Thank WhatsApp. You, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, Bear, I'm on the gun this morning. I am on the gun. I am firing on all cylinders. Um, I, I, I've got to tell you something. I'm ready. I'm the man, Bear. I'm the man on the team today. Okay. What are we doing today? I'm excited. If you're on, if you're on the game, let's do this. I'm really excited. Okay? I'm so glad to be a part of it. What are we doing? It's going to be an amazing show. Amazing show. Amazing. I'm that so is so oh, cool. I love that. Yeah, that is so beautiful. Yeah, we're never going to see one bear, but I did the same thing as you. I put my Instagram, I screenshot the Instagram and texted it to my AD at like eight in the morning. Like, yeah, me too. Same thing. And what did that say? Did, did you get a response? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I did. What what what, what did your guys he, say? He contacted uh, Tudor and basically confirmed for me that most likely not going to happen. Okay. Well, my guy said, I'll keep an eye. If I, if I see one, it's yours. But I feel like that was a very nice way of saying, I'm never going to see Don't call one. us, we'll call you. Don't call yeah. us, we'll call you. Well, these, this probably going to go, you know, to just the national boutiques. Just a couple. This is, and even then, it's going to be limited number. This is just a marketing thing. This is That's a completely it. marketing thing. Smart, though, you know? It's smart. If it was but. Mega, they would tease it, and then they would put fifty thousand of them out there. But this is Rolex, or uh, might as well be Rolex. Goldberg, yo, Danny, why hey. can't I, why can't I find why can't I see you on Dogman? Oi, oi, oi! I don't know. You didn't watch it thoroughly. Lying maybe you maybe those glasses. Face, you see those thick glasses that you got on? They're those Coke bottles. Maybe you yeah. should take them off and like wash them. Are you getting touchy for? <laughs> Yeah, a proper genuine. <laughs> I miss you, Danny. I miss you so much. Let's have well, a drink. I got to tell you, it's yeah. uh, it's Toyota amazing. Mo, I, I don't think I know. Uh, when you ask Toyota Mo says, you really think this watch is going to be limited? Yeah. Uh, yes. No, 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 it's going to be produced. Archie, I sent you the, the Instagram. It's on your WhatsApp with all the text. Yeah. Along with the pictures of the watch, if you bring that text up, it it it, it says it, it repeats their message about limitations. They're not calling it. The What's that? It's going to be released in. They're playing with 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 release control. Do you understand? Yeah. They're they're playing with. Okay, we might make ten thousand of these. Oh, no. Even they their even it. even their post in their Instagram was kind of quirky, yeah. kind of kind of provocative, and they basically in their posts are saying, we know that if this is not for the most of you and you're not going to like it, but don't worry, there won't be many anyway. That's so nice. basically go fuck yourselves. It's, yeah. not, it's uh, not like you're going to be able to get it. It was very uh, bare, wouldn't you agree? They, they announced it in a very sort of fuck you and a very saucy way. 
Very I sad. loved it. That's yeah. when I wanted it even more. Tell the average punter to go fuck themselves because <laughs> they're not worthy. I love that. Very attitudinal. That's fantastic. I'm glad they told me to go fuck myself because I ain't buying it even if they had it. Well, don't worry. You won't be able to. <laughs> you know, you're not... Talking of fucking yourself, uh, Archie, did you get the pocket pussy off of um, Marcelo? Yeah. No, that's, uh... Alex said me nothing. It's Alex said me nothing. It's only been used four times. He said you like a... Uh, it likes stuff at a bargain, so it's got you one that's been used four times. You know, I um here this is the wording here. Tudor watch inspired Dare. by Dare. the daring spirit of Tudor ambassadors. A pink dial might seem unexpected at first, but going against the grain is part of Tudor's core DNA. That's exactly what earned this darling design a place. What earned this design this darling Daring design a place in the Tudor range. This new version of the Black Bay Chrono might not be for everyone, and that's mm. okay because few of them will ever be made. Yeah, baby, I love means, it. Good if you don't like it, if you don't like it, go fuck yourself. You can't have one anyway. Oh, I love it. I love it. Chat. Here we go, Stud Muffin, five bucks. Danny, would you buy a Hellcat and drive up to? the United Nations wearing a NATO strap? Mate, if I could afford it, but I'd get NATO strap first and then I'd get a couple of backup plans. I'd get some from Amazon and then I'd probably drive off it. <laughs> Fucking trolls, Archie. <laughs> oh my God, Danny, you should see your glasses, the, the glare in the, of your computer. I love, I love, I love the fact that Toyota Mo, who is a well-known hype beast, is now reconsidering because he realizes that this is going to be exceptionally hype watch, and now he wants it badly, just like I do, just like JJ will want it, just like any other or one of us who likes hype watches. I've already that's got the, the right one. That's the way it goes. I got the right one, boys. boys. Which was a hype watch it when I got it. It's down a little now, but it's it's kind of one of the few tutors that kind of holds its value. The white the white version of that one. Yeah, actually, the Panda Tudor uh, is is uh, at one time it was also over retail. Yeah, no um, more, no more. But it holds. It holds really well. Yeah. Yeah. It's liked watch. It's a good watch. It's a nice watch. But I but this one is on another level because they put it on the uh, on the five link. I mean, it looks like a jubilee, but they call it five link for a two. Correct. Correct. But they put it on that one, which I think really makes it kind of spiffier. Of course. Yeah, it makes it look more pretty. What the fuck's spiffier? Yeah, it's spiffier. What the fuck's that? Spiffy. Spiffy. Yeah. It means special or to be, in, to be or more spiffy. Sparkly, like wait, Danny, just smile into a mirror and you'll see a spiffy grin. That's all you got to do, and you know, because you got the thing going on there. It's you're spiffy. It's a spiffy grin, toothy oh, grin. Mark, go I got to tell you, it's I really missed you, Mark. I really missed you the last couple well, of days. I, I had a lot of travel and a lot of crazy stuff. In fact, I'm traveling again tomorrow, but uh, glad to be here to, you know. I've stopped texting him much. He's uh, treats you. me like a side bitch. He's oh, you are, oh, he loves you, Danny. He loves you. Know you. What? She is so sensitive, Archie. She is so sensitive. Oh my god. She requires constant massaging, and uh, you got to tickle the tickle the clit on this one over here. You, you know, I, 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 I love her. She's sensitive. She's sensitive. <laughs> Try other Mark. You know what it is? It's the pianist in you. You know, I would have never take. You look like such a manly man, but you, you, I love you, Danny. I just love you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I might unblock you now. Yeah. Well, you know what? That would make that would make me sad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be making him sad. I'll get over it. <laughs> that shooter is the most exciting thing I've seen on this whole trip. Mm. In the watch That's because you forgot. Wait a minute. You, were, you were you were just in the you were just at the shower show. How's that going to be the most exciting thing? No, no. I, I said that Tudor is the most exciting thing I've, I I have heard in the whole watch industry since I've been on trip there. Wow. You know what? Watches and wonders is coming up any second. So 
Well, yeah. So they're holding most. Of, yeah. Well, the, the, the before they're not going to release things before that. It's just uh, just a tease. God knows what's going to happen next. But it isn't it weird, Bear, that they released that information now. I mean, I you'd think they would have waited. Oh no, they always um, do that. Because no, because I don't, think, uh, I don't think it's a regular production watch. Yeah, so yeah, that's point. why. Ah uh, well, if it was regular production, would we really want it <laughs> anyway? Probably, probably not. not. No, probably not. But uh, or maybe like the first one, and then boom, get rid of it after. Yeah. Kind of just to experience it, right? Oh, I would wear. Uh, I would wear that. I'd wear that fucker. So would I. Yeah. So would I. I would I would proudly flounce around in that watch. It's quite interesting. I, I think it's um I think it's the, the sad thing is why don't they bring out a series of them? I'd like to see a diver one, a GMT in the pink, like three of them. Yeah. Three pink. Boom boom boom. Boom boom boom. Boom boom boom. I'd like to see Tiffany blue, boom, boom. pink, and I'd also like to see some outlandish color like orange electro orange and he's and he's what's danny gone what's danny done i don't know i i mean come on back what time is it in darwin there now uh now it's uh nine o'clock arch nine o'clock in the morning. In darkness. why are you in total darkness there oh because my son's sleeping next door so i don't want to wake him up oh he's in that room there yeah yeah Actually, That's I've got the bad. same problem in my hotel. Yesterday when I ran the show, actually two nights ago when I had my cello on and I was screaming, the neighbors next door started tapping on my door. Tap, 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 tap. Oh, fuck, I better keep it quiet. Because I, I start broadcasting at 5 fucking 30 a.m. <laughs> so uh, I, went out, I went out last night to the Nana Plaza and I went to, into Soy Nana and uh, I tell you what, Bear, it was an eye-opener. I would have loved to have gone with Marcelo, Mental Jock, Jamie, uh, and Dodger uh, last week. Last week. I would have loved to have gone when they were here, but Marcelo sort of stole the show, and he wanted to do it his way. He didn't want to – no one wanted to do anything with me. I feel a bit unloved there. You, you know sure? that? No, because I, I said, hey, guys, we're going 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock, let's go. Let's go. I've got to leave pass. Let's go. Maybe it was too early for them at 9 o'clock. I don't know what the go was. They were too wasted, I think, because they were partying all day. Oh, 9 Instead o'clock in the morning day. you're talking about. 9 o'clock no, in the nine morning. Night, at night. Oh, night. night. Do you really think it's in your best interest to keep that stuff, bringing this stuff back? I'm just asking for a friend. Yeah, that's true. Too. That's, that's Bear, true. It's 6 a.m. I don't know. Anything that keeps my mouth and lips moving, I'm happy to do. <laughs> All right. He, okay. Don't you think that the brain, that room looks like his, his the brain is like that knock nice knocks, you know, that, that gas from the balloons. My brain is like it's been yeah, gassed yeah. about a thousand times. I'm, I'm, I just came, I went to Nana, I came back about 1.30 last night. I had a couple hours sleep and my alarm went off. I, I set the show at, at half an hour later than normal just to have a bit of a bit more rest. Bear, anything that keeps my lips moving and the thought flowing is a positive today. What do you think the perfect size for a collection is, Arch? I'm actually, that's something that really does... Uh, interest me, okay? The reason perfect, is... Want perfect to know what? How many is enough watches? Because I want to know when I can it's stop. Enough. I really want to... I'll be honest with you. I got two boxes, Mr. GMT. I sold a few off, right? By the way, do any of you guys there on the stream now, do you want me to buy you a box when I'm in Bangkok? They have... At Marbon Kong, they got watch boxes. I had a few that were stolen, but I just didn't have that. I don't need that. I just, I actually said I don't need that. No, thank yeah, you. I'm all good. I'm all good. Hey, look, dog trainer, would you like me to get you a nice, nice box? A, a watch box? Yeah. You're very, do very I, kind. Do I have any, any bears there for? Yeah. 
or a dog trainer. That's what yeah, he would yeah. rather have. I need a Bangkok Starbucks bear for Satan's kid. Exactly. But oh, uh, I haven't been to a Starbucks here. You know that they have Starbucks. They do, they, but they have like a oh, bunch of places Christ. called the Coffee Club also around there. I'll but, have a, a Coffee Club. That's yeah. right. That was coffee. Was that Starbucks? No, that was Starbucks. I got your boyfriend a Starbucks bear. You did. You got you got us a Starbucks bear. The coffee yeah. Club have got kangaroos for sale. Have they? But not in bangers though. Yes. Really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was there. I go to the coffee. Fuck me, they're expensive coffee. Fuck mm -hmm. me, dead. I don't go there anymore. Um, <coughs> I'm going to tell you something. I really think. Yeah. Pavel I really. Yeah. I, time for a coffee. I'll get a coffee soon. I've oh. been trying to keep the stream going, keep it lively. Uh, unfortunately, dog trainer, you oh. haven't been on enough to, to pay yeah. for a bear. When I was in Hong Kong, you oh, were I, really. I, I understand. I've got. I, I have yeah. a little bit of make. I have a little bit of work to do to catch up. I got this. I got you. Yeah, I'll have a look, but but what I'm trying to tell you is. I know. I I understand. It's been fucking tough. I can tell you. You know, some of those bar girls in in Nana Plaza earn more than me lately. Bear. I don't doubt that. Well, you know. Did you? I'm. I want to ask a question. Back yeah. to the shower show. Yeah. For like yes. a small tip, could you hop into the tub with them, or like you know, uh, no, they don't. you have to buy them a drink. A drink's one hundred and sixty-five. Well, that's called a lady drink for the for the punters. It's called a lady drink. Lady yeah. drink is a bit more expensive than <laughs> their own drink. Two hundred bucks. They get a commission. Mm. But if you buy a girl a lady drink, she'll come sit with you a little while. You have to be very careful when buying the lady drink that you specify one drink. Otherwise, they get Red Bull and vodka, and that's two lady drinks, Red Bull and vodka. Are you joking? No. And you also have to tell them no shots because if they get a tequila shot, it's gulp, gone, see ya, thanks for the shot, off we go, You know, and then they're gone. You, you buy one drink, not your friend, mm -hmm. just you, one drink. And you sit and talk to that girl for a little while. I see. But uh, interesting. you got to be careful that Red Bull and vodka, man. That's two drinks. Yes. Red Bull and vodka. Why don't you explain to the boys the concept of the check bin? Check bin? That's actually what they've changed it now. You know that? Have they? What, what's happened? Okay, so... The way Nana used to operate is you go there, you, you have your drinks, and when you was time to leave, you settled your bill. Now they get you to settle after every round of drinks you order. Oh, that's better. It's harder to rip you off, too, that way. See, what they do is they give you, like, a bamboo cup, what they used to do, and they still do it. Yes, yeah, no, they still do that. They still Nana is more regulated now. Does that make sense? Yeah, okay. So how, here's how they do it, guys. They put a bamboo cup on your table, and every time you order a round, they just write a check and they stuff it in the in the in the cup. That's right. But um, That's smart people pay every round. You could, because otherwise these checks build up your drinks, your friends' drinks, lady drinks, and then they can stuff extra ones in there. You'll never be able to like sort it out. But if you're paying every round, it's probably because they've had people run out of there without paying. Actually, and Nana's very that. regulated now. They're, they're really on the gun. They're on Ooh, the. They will, they will fuck you up if you try and welch on your bill. Like, there are. There are. You, you can't do it, man. They will hurt you. Don't run out on the I bill. I got to tell you, it's. Um, it, 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 you know, this, just Mr. GMT. Yes. I haven't been to Nana since COVID. And the sad thing is, it actually smells of weed everywhere. They've legalized marijuana and so much weed. Stay off the weed. Yeah. Well, I, listen, it is what it is. You got to move with the times, right? Interesting watches. I went there. I didn't see a lot of the go, go, go. Nothing interesting. No, no. No, I actually saw a fake Nautilus, um, Lady Nautilus on a lady dancing many years ago, but hey, nothing. 
nothing remarkable. That was a fake Nautilus. Come on. There's so much fake watches there. They're sold on every corner. They bring them around that you know they bring they bring in the girls bring them in on trays in the restaurants. You'd be eating breakfast at a restaurant, she's got a tray of like you know. So in other words, right, if like, you were oh, a real if you wear a real Nautilus that you won't get robbed because everyone will think it's fake. A hundred percent. You can wear anything. Bangkok is super safe for yeah. for like anything. You might there might be a little pickpocketing here and there, but there's like almost no violent crime. The thieving that's there, Mr. GMT, is called legitimate retail trading in the rest of the world. i got to tell you something. Very expensive prices. Went to a department store. They have some brand. That would probably, Bangkok would have to be probably one of the most expensive places in the world to shop. Oh, wow. That's saying a lot. Mm -hmm. It's very dear. Like the idea of discounting, they, they look down on discounting. They, a lot of these snooty brands have moved there yeah. and they don't want to discount. Well, that's yeah, that's the way of the world these days. There's not much discounting anywhere, really. Well, you, you were very let down by you still can't, haven't got over the LV experience, have no, you? Not at all. I wouldn't rate them at all. It could have been just my experience, but I went in there a few times hoping to get a different experience. So I bought the first time I went Maybe in there, my daughter went. Maybe if you your LB boxing, you'd get a much better experience. What do you think? Do you reckon? I don't know. Would you take it in? So. Is there an LB in Darwin? Do you know what really got, No, we don't. Um, do you know what really pissed me off was. What's that? I was I was looking at some loafers and I couldn't find anything that I really liked. So I tried a few of them on, just weren't speaking to me. So then I said, no, I'm not interested. And because I didn't buy anything, her attitude yeah. just clicked. Didn't want to know me. Didn't want to, didn't want to have anything to do with me. Um, so what I did was, I, as I was walking out, I ended up buying something. And as soon as I ended up buying something, her attitude clicked again, changed again. I'm thinking to myself, why do you have to be like that? Why can't you be just a genuine person? You haven't used prostitutes before, have you? You haven't used prostitutes before, have you? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Listen, I'm not man? telling they're trying to get trying to lure in the prostitute, right? Trying Archie is saying that you know you'd have been used to it by now had you in had you indulged, had you mongered. Yeah, yeah. I gotta introduce him to my, my first wife there, dog trainer. <laughs> um look, it, it's a it's a pay for play experience. They're there to sell stuff, okay? Yeah, they actually get a very small commission. Yeah, I understand that, but oh, I never said my my shopping my shopping journey was over in there. She no. assumed it was. You understand? You know, that's what pissed me off. The brand is me. really where G, where G, where um Gucci never did that with me. They never did that with me. Mm. That was so polite. So you you think? LV's gone to the dogs. I think so. <coughs> or they're I just rude so. fucks who want sales. They're just very pushy. Well, it and... could have been just that store. It could have been just that one store that I went into. They're trying to make a luxury experience. You know, they won't let too many people into the store so they can serve you properly, give you the attention you deserve, make you well, feel. When I went, as you know, when I went to the Gold Coast, it was um, off peak. So everyone, all the kids are back at school. There wasn't as many tourists. So there was no lineups. Anyone could just walk straight in. Do you know what I mean? It was there was no issue yeah. there. So it was a different different experience in that aspect. Oh, this was the Gold Coast store. Yeah, yeah. The the one at um, Pacific Fair. Oh, I see. Have you been to that one, Arch? I understand. Yeah, I, I I've been there a number of times. I I didn't mind it, mind you. I did walk in with an entourage of hard case luggage, but <laughs> hey. <laughs> I've actually got to take my hard case luggage into them soon because in the burglary, the fucking keys for my luggage were stolen. So I've got to get some keys cut. Locked out of your own LV. Well, they're not locked, but mm -hmm. I want to be able to lock it. Does that make hey, sense? They'll be secure. <laughs> you could fill them with watches. Yeah. No, no, no. It's just so that, yeah, I, I want the keys. I, I had the key. It's a long story. No, um, we understand. It's, it, it is what it is, but I've got to tell you, um, yeah, it, it's it's a tricky thing. It's a tricky thing, Mr. GMT. I don't think that experience 
was um the problem is the whole luxury thing is no longer luxury like when we're talking luxury like luxury watches this the experience we're trying to create an experience a journey right um basically these are greedy conglomerate greedy companies trying to sell us as much shit we don't need at prices we can't afford yes you're right did you see the gucci movie weren't they the and, ones who um, basically faked their own sh counterfeited their own shit oh, no they didn't no they didn't didn't say that in the movie i've watched it now what gucci prostituted their stuff for a bit they 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 weren't careful on some of their trade the, Gucci was a victim of their own success because, you know, the, the other guy who really fucked up luxury, you know who the guy who fucked luchery up? Mm. Who, who fucked up luxury? Art to luxury? <laughs> I'm glad you said I that. I thought you were there, but I thought you took off. <laughs> I was really worried he was going to over such a... P Remember Pierre Cardin, whatever happened oh, to yeah, Pierre yeah, yeah. Cardin? Pierre Cardin sold out, man. Wow. Remember Pierre Cardin? He licensed his shit out to everything. Yeah, Pierre Cardin, you could actually buy his stuff from Kmart at one yeah, stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck, really? Right? Yeah, what he yeah. did was he licensed his name for everything. Yeah. Cheapened it. Yeah. Yeah, it, 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 it and the brand doesn't exist now. So, Pierre, P, actually, Pierre Cardin has an interesting thing. You know where Cove's watch shop is? He's in the, 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 the Queen Victoria building, which is a standstone yes. building in building, Sydney. Beautiful. They used to have a Pierre Cardin on the bottom floor. Okay. And well, you don't see um, much of them, do you? No, no, it's gone. It's gone. Pierre Cardin um, is is a brand that uh, I'll tell you another brand that I've never seen in the West. Do you remember a French actor? Alain Dion. Elon Dion. Remember Alain Dion? Alan, Alan Dillon. Alan Dillon. Yeah. Yeah. Alan Dillon. You remember what him? A, what a good looking mm. guy, man. He's yes, a good he looking was. guy. He was or wasn't? No, he, he was, was really good looking. Man. Very. And uh, he did a few songs. He did one with Shirley Bassey. So he, he started his own uh, fashion brand, is that right? Yeah, which actually exists in thailand they have alon dion they have alon still dion. in thailand now they still got it it's still in thailand um so these kind of labels here the funny thing is let me say this to you one thing in bangkok singapore hong kong the big malls you americans call them malls they have big malls they're really they're big. dying in america malls yeah. are, and i'll tell you the reason malls are dying mm. the malls are popular on black friday but when you've got to pay full retail no, they're quiet the and that's the whole thing these malls americans are very price conscious they want a bargain, don't you? You Americans want bargains, don't you, dog trainer? Don't we all? No, I, I totally get it. I, I'm, 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 I'm on, I'm on board. We, we, um, we tend to buy online, and the, um, the malls, they, they just close my local mall. There, we call them dead malls. They'll sit there for about twenty years, dead, with one or two stores or a movie theater open, and then eventually, they just knock them down and build apartment buildings. And, and, and the sad thing is is they were once very popular. They were a hive of community activity I remember. Uh, in the 80s, but, 70s, and yeah, 80s. Yeah, but you know Music. why it all died off? It's, it's, a, it's, it's all online now. So a lot of people yeah. just, yeah, can't be stuff going into them. And i got to be honest with you, a lot of people are intimidated. You know, JD, I had, he's the guy who helped me in Sydney with the show. Yeah. He said, oh, I can't go into Vacheron. That'd be so intimidating. He, he was actually scared of the brand dog trainer my wife my mistress and my girlfriend they've <laughs> all been scared at times to go to hermes or to lv i'm not yeah, afraid of scared scared of going in. I'll, oh, you know not I'll go anywhere all i do is i put on a clean t-shirt yeah, but it. i mean i mean they're so scared oh i don't want to go in i'm not dressed for it what the fuck? just go in let's have a look that's right. You know, some of the richest people in the world dress. You like know what? I'd, I would love to come to the Gold Coast and go with you into all these shops just to see the experience I have with you. 
It'll be interesting. Look, I'll be honest with you, Mr. GMT. They don't really give good look unless you're a big bowler and you're buying heaps of shit. They don't really give you the good service. Like I, you know, Depends. I'm not a bowler. I'm not a bowler. What would you say uh, to them? Eventually, they realise, you know, I'm just a what they call in the retail trade a punter. Will you know? We'll use Donny's, you know, Dongoloid's phrase. Yeah, I'm doing some experimental shopping. Are you a bogan? You know what? I've come up with a new, a new, a new term. It's not a bogan. No. Our guys are our guys are brogans. Brogans, because we're all like bros here. Brogans. Like Brogan, bear. What do you think of that? How's that for a concept? Brogans. <clears throat> Good. Call. So I got to, I got to be honest with you, man. You just gotta go with the flow, Mister GMT. I want to be honest with you. Most of the retail experience really sucks. You're intimidated. You don't feel like going in. I, I, tell you I, saw, I, was actually, I didn't get yeah, to I'm honest. intimidated. Can I tell you this, Mr. GMT? I want to tell you the truth. Yeah. Why are you intimidated? Man? Just tell them the way it is, man. Fuck it. Okay. I wanted to buy one of those. You saw that Skeleto Del Tempo box. Mm -hmm. I got the six-piece one. You remember that? The brown with the caramel interior. The Beaufort. Well, my hourglass also sells them. Okay. Right? So instead of buying it from Mr. Porter, which is an online service, I thought, you know, I, I might get – I rang them three fucking times. They, they never answered the fucking phone. Okay. And then I thought, do I really want to go in there and buy this thing? I'll just buy it online. I don't want to be into you – know, you know what I mean? I understand. And I didn't want to haggle. That's why these, so mall, that's why these malls are, are shutting down. That's the reason. And I thought, fuck it, I'll just buy it online. And I was actually disappointed because it didn't have a fucking hinge, Mr. GMT. It doesn't have a hinge in that box. Fuck. But you know what? It's actually not a bad box. It's actually quite cool. Uh, so what I've decided to do is, Mr. GMT, I've got two boxes. i got my LV box. Mm -hmm. I've got my... Scalato del Tempo travel briefcase box. And I got a, a Louis Vuitton watch roll, right? I might just, to be honest with you, the watch roll I was looking at selling because, fuck, that's overpriced. You know how expensive Mr. GMT, that lousy fucking, I bought it when I was in London. I, I bought it when, I bought it when it was in pounds. It didn't sound expensive. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. I get that all the time. Don't worry. When you look and it's way. fucking eighteen hundred dollars now. Can you believe? And it's absolute fuck. It's not. Well, would I say garbage? It's quality garbage, but it's fucking overpriced quality. Eighteen hundred dollars for a, for a watch roll that doesn't have spaces. Like say, say your watches don't. And also, the what thing the that fuck? pisses me off with Louis Vuitton. I don't know if you do. You, do you ever looked at any of the Louis Vuitton clothing? I'm just a fat fuck. I would never buy. I had a look at it when I was in there. It's not for me, but yeah, I did have a look. <laughs> but actually, that would fit you because yeah. you're fucking fit. You're a fit fuck. You're a fit fuck. I'm a fat fuck. You're a fit fuck. Okay. <laughs> so okay? say it's funny. And and I got to wow. tell you something. Um, what I would, what I found, what I find interesting is you can fit into this shit, right? I can't. I can't yeah, fit but into still this not shit. Interested I haven't been able to, to be drop it. No, I, I went. I went to you know where I went. But I went into, uh, it's so overpriced. Like you pay two thousand bucks for a plain shirt, like a shirt with LV on it. Pay, I mean, that's just ridiculous, ridiculous, isn't it, or not? Hell yeah! What that's think? why I went to uh, Harbour Town Arch and went into all those stores and bought my clothes. Fuck like that! How did you find Harbour Town? Was that good? Yeah, I bought some good stuff. Yeah, it's good. Very you good. Did? Yeah. You don't go there, Arch? I love Harbour Town. Harbour Town is a factory outlet store. It's a fact they got many yeah. brands there. Uh, what brand did you like the most at Harbour Town? The problem is, I think it's it looks like a fake factory outlet. Like the prices aren't as good as as you think you're going to. I, I never found them that. Yeah, you're cheap. right. The prices weren't that great. 
Um, they weren't cheap at that. No. Uh, they were, yeah, up there. But still, they had a lot of stuff there. They did have a lot of stuff. The main shop, shop yeah, that, that I shopped that was Armani and uh, Ralph Lauren. Oh, you buy Ralph Lauren? Fuck, aren't you? That's, geez, it's good for some. <laughs> what do you mean, Arch? <laughs> a lot of people wear Ralph, especially Lux does with those big, massive fucking horses. Are they real? You think they're real? I don't know. Is his shirts real? Are they fake? They, they had know. a bit of an I idea. Don't, I don't that know. Everyone that goes to the New York, your New York Watch <clears throat> Show, uh, they all meet up there with all the, the same shirt with the big horses, and you all go into the New York Watch Show with that. Apollo's with the big oh, horses. That like would be fucking I'm hilarious. Really, I'm I'm really looking forward to. Uh, uh, you don't wear polo watch, shirts, uh, do you? Sorry. You don't wear polo shirts, Arch, do you? Polo shirts. Um, you know, is that something I should see? The problem. I'm just a bit. I got to lose some weight. Okay, I really do want to lose some weight. Okay. I want to lose some weight, okay? You're going to watch. What, what have you had to eat that was good at Bangers? It's good food. Oh, actually. fuck. It's you know, I've been addicted to premium um, burgers. You know this? I, I Burger? shouldn't really tell bang? you this. Yeah, burger. You know, I've, got, I've, I've just around the – I've got a uh, burger, premium burger place just around the corner from my house here. Yeah. Where we went to, at the market's arch. There's a premium all burger place. There's bangers. There's, there's international burgers. Sensational burgers, Arch. Next time you come in, I'll take you there. The beautiful burgers. Well, there's actually a steak. The restaurant I'm staying, so the hotel I'm in has got a premium beef place, which is actually beef is normally fucking overpriced in Bangkok, but it's mm -hmm. actually um, it's actually yeah, it's reasonable. And uh, here we go. I'm just going to bring this up. Sorry, sorry for the delay. I've been trying to do more than one thing at once, and I. Fucking, you know what? I'm is there a bear there today? Is he there? He's very quiet. I know I got bear there. The Louis Vuitton site is absolutely fucking shit. Now, I'm just going to call it up for you. I want to show you something, Mr. GMT. Mm. Look at this. I'm just coming on the screen now. Mm -hmm. Look at this. This is the Louis Vuitton watch roll. Get right? fucked. Get fucked. And oh, i got to tell you. You can get it in monogram ellipse. I've got the monogram. I got the monogram one. Okay, that's the classic can you, one, right? Have they got a picture of the inside of this fucking thing? Okay, that's the the, the you know the normal one. Eighteen ten. Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, they do. Sorry, yeah, oh. sorry. Just, just give me a minute. It's loading up. This is what it looks like. That's the roll. I could buy three seconds for that. No divider. You see that? Ah oh, man, that's a, that's just stupid. I wouldn't pay for that. No way. I mean, eighteen ten. I mean, I don't know about you, Mister GMT, but isn't that a lot of money? Or no? That's too much money for that, especially that. Just the way that it's designed is shit. You can't even you shit. can't even secure your watches I mean, in eighteen because they'll be banging up against each other. No, and you know what they're all for? Because if you're a fat fuck like me, <coughs> they don't even fit in there properly. Because I got extra links in that. And then they just wobble around. They don't even fit snugly. Like it's one size. You've got to be a fucking supermodel for it to work for you. It's just shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I definitely understand that. There. This roll, I wouldn't sell it to you because it's fucking over overpriced, Bear. Oh, you could just sell it to me, uh, obviously, for 60% uh, off. Super <laughs> chat. <laughs> Here we go. We got a super chat. Thank you so much, Duco. Ten dollars. When are we getting the Archie Luxury co-branded watch? The problem is, you have to jump into bed with such fucking horrible brands. Phoebus. We can get you a Phoebus collab. It's not worth doing. What a sexy photo Duco's got there, right? Eh? Look at that. Mm. He's, you know, you know, one thing about Juco, he's actually taught me something. He was very wealthy. I don't know if you know this, Mr. GMT. He made a I lot of money in the crypto crap. Okay. Yeah. Well, he basically bought it cheap and it became very valuable. He's, he's a million. He made a million dollars out of it. You got you to have sold it at the He did sell some, right? But 
he was making more out of crypto than his day job. I mean, he was doing really well. And he was very yeah. generous. One thing about Mr. Duco is he was very generous with his super chats. He's still very generous. He got a Porsche. I mean, come on, Mr. GMT. Let's not I criticize he, the guy. He got a I Porsche, mean, okay? I never criticized Duco. Where are you going with this? What? Now, <laughs> what I wanted to say is the markets have changed a bit you know like it's 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 those heady days where it was easy super chats and that those days are gone and um i gotta be honest with you a lot of the luxury brands are also feeling strained they're feeling strained and instead of dealing with man child they're finding it hard to deal with customers 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 so what do you think? Is that worth eighteen ten? Would you pay eighteen? Now you've got the LV box, right? I wouldn't. T- I wouldn't touch this with a fucking thirty. No way, man. Thank you. Way. I'm with Mr. GMT on this. Put the oh, money in a so watch. No, but isn't that a lot of money? Eighteen hundred bucks. Ridiculous. I found an awesome company in in Australia that I bought the the other watch box, and it's awesome. They've got petitions in there, so you can your watches don't bang up against each other. They're a great company. Now let's have a look here, Mr. GMT. I want to show you something. Okay, I'd rather stuff my you watch. Know those watch boxes, right? Look, look how much they are now. Those watch boxes. What's the go with the one right down the big. bottom there? Oh, that's a camouflage that? one. Okay, but the standard one that me and you have got is thirteen thousand two hundred Aussie dollars. Oh, fucking you, mate! Come on, you can get a Rolex for that. It's gone up a lot, man. I mean, the box I mean, is looking, beautiful. They were, they were but that 10, is so something. They were ten thousand. I paid nine thousand nine hundred when I got mine. Yeah, yeah. So they were after about there. So they were ten thousand. I'm just going to turn my so, aircon off. They've gone looking, up quite a substantial amount of money. What the fuck? That's a lot of money, man. I mean, that, that's it's insane. Hard. I would really rather buy a no date sub for that, which you can get at the AD now without a long wait. You, Two months I, you can get one. That's crazy, man. That's just crazy. Even when I, I bought mine, right? I bought mine on the aftermarket. I paid eight grand for mine. Still, yeah. I thought that was a lot of money. But now that's like another five thousand dollars on top of what I paid. Fuck. It's crazy. I mean, listen, I I, I like I watches, like- but I don't love spending money on all the straps and the boxes and the tools and it's just the watches, not not all the extra crap. You know, but yeah, yeah well, I had a point. You didn't get into that, that's why. If you see the way that I display mine, it's there's a reason why I bought mine. Well, that's mine. true. You have quite a beautiful display area, and so you know, if you're into that, I get it. But, um, I'm, I'm more into the metal, you know, so yeah, I, that's fine. I have these $20 Amazon <laughs> watch boxes, they hold 12. <laughs> and mm. I'm, happy. I'm happy with that. What's I, would, I, I would put a thirty thousand dollar gold Rolex sub in a twelve dollar Amazon box, and have done. Does it really matter? No, not to me. It's the same. It's a matter. It's about wearing it, you know. Really, not Arch. so much about display. But they just should, they, they just put a little link in the private chat, which I find very interesting. You should check it out. Hmm. Mm. I think it'd be that's the Rob report. Thing. It's pretty good. I like it. the prediction. It's a prediction thing. It's pretty good. You should check it out. Arch. Bring it up. Put it up, Arch. Let's have a look at this. This looks great. It's uh, it's actually predictions from some of the leading people in the watch industry. Yeah, I, yeah. I find it very interesting. Okay. Th- thanks for that. I really appreciate that. That's good. Unfortunately, no pictures, but mainly talking about stuff. Yeah, that's all right. They're close so guys they, like predict. Bob's watches and all the usual suspects. But you know, it's that time of year we got to talk about predictions. Actually, we should be talking about that here. What do we think? Because watches and wonders they'll announce stuff, and that's what in like a week. Oh, William Messina, founder of Messina Labs. Now, why the fuck would you ask him anything? He's a fucking cunt and a half, that guy. <laughs> oh shit. Is he? You know that fuck banned me from time zone years ago, Bear? <laughs> I, I, uh, by the way, I knew he's going to react to that, so I'm smiling. Oh, shit. But, you know, let's, Archie, you've he's been banned from every 
<laughs> You've been banned from every group you ever joined. Damn. Let's be yeah. honest here. You got banned from the, the, the alumni group. I know. I know. Which I was, um, I was right the day the rainbow is coming back. I really don't think it will. I think it. I didn't know they dropped it. I thought it was just a very exclusive yeah, that, model. That, that, that's a pink gold. That's a rose gold one. That's what they're. That, that's what he's saying. That there'll be a busted down rose gold rainbow. Which maybe, maybe not. That's why it's called predictions, Arch. We've got the C CEO. He's saying they're going to bring out a Coke. Coke. Well, okay, Coke is good. Everyone's been saying that one. Everyone. It's been, they've been saying it for a few years now. Coke, Coke, Coke. You know, no one's taken up my idea where I said they're going to bring out a two-tone Explorer 2. Yeah, well, you know, that was about as likely as the... As the, as the two-tone as Explorer 1. As the Sea Dweller, but I'm just saying, or the Explorer, which they've done. So stranger things have happened. That's kind of... that. That could be... It's just a way of running up the running up the numbers, charging more for the you know the same damn model with almost no change. It's talking about the Starbucks. What are they saying about the Starbucks? That's already here. Yeah, this is not gonna work. He hates reading. Um, gonna I was it? looking for children version with, with the, <laughs> <laughs> the, oh. <laughs> the left hand. But yeah, well, what they're saying that. about the sprite, that prediction is it's going to be discontinued. Discontinued. It would make me very happy because I have one. Mary, you've had like seven of them. <laughs> so. No, one. <laughs> these, these guys yeah. still have the reverse. The prediction on a, on a sprite oh, yeah. is uh, that they are going to actually make a normal version, not my well, normal version, but regular version yeah. of right. sprite. Yeah. Um, uh, Mr. Sexy, I still have mine. I, I, I can tell you that. Beautiful. I Listen, I bought my first watch from uh, my first Rolex from an AD in 1987, and I still have that, and I still have every watch I've ever purchased from an AD. The only Rolex I've ever sort of sold are the ones that I bought through secondary market. And I haven't yeah. sold all of them, but some of them. Did you get your money back? Uh, yeah, I've never... I, I can't. There's a bunch I can't sell right now because I would take a loss. So I'm, I'm in the I'm in the holding phase right now. Actually, it's, I've got to jump. Gotta, I've got to go sort out breakfast for my wife. Thank you so much. Hey for man, me. man, it's been Thank an honor you. having you on there, man. Please, please do yeah. come again. We really will, do appreciate it. We'll do. Thank um, you for having me. I really appreciate it, gentlemen. It was been a, man, it's been a pleasure. The Darwin show was amazing. I've I've, I've still I just. Look back to that show there. It was we had a, the most amazing time. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm really hoping we can do it again next year. Um, we take every day as it comes, eh? How's that, Arch? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was it was it. incredible. It was incredible time we had. And, I'm just um, glad. My luck, I've always said. I'm glad that you enjoyed it. I'm glad that the boys enjoyed it. Um, hopefully, we can get some more punters to join us. Hopefully, when you when you decide to come again, and uh, I hope it's uh, be awesome again. So we'll talk hey, again soon. Stay, stay great. Stay, stay happy. Stay and, and sexy. We'll That's soon. exactly it. Hey, Bear, that was a nice – it was nice to have him on. What do you think? Isn't he a nice guy? Very nice. Yeah, really nice guy. And, and what but, I like uh, about him is – In reality, what's the point? What's the point, Arch? What's the point of anything, Bear? Why are we here? What is happiness? Exactly. Why are we here? Exactly. You know, the re you, you may think that this is cliche for me to say this, right? But I uh, really think that for myself, the best number of watches to have, Bear, is about 12 to 14, Bear. I think the best number to have is 47. Why 47? That's how many you got. Why 12 or 13? But why 12 or 13? You know, I, I find it, I find how many good watches, like I got the eight watch Louis Vuitton box, right? And I've also got the eight box 
Skeleto del Tempo. So if you can fill those two, it's 16, right? Mm -hmm. That's enough. That's enough. How many fucking watches do you really need? You I want to enjoy what? my life. I think 42, actually. 42. 42. Yes, because that is the answer to the ultimate question of life. The universe. How old I look? And everything. <laughs> I only look 42. Excellent. When it's calculated by enormous supercomputer named Deep Thought, he came to that conclusion after a period of 7.5 million years. I thought it was and like determined six. that the number 42 is answered to the ultimate question of life, the universe, and everything. Hmm. I remember yes. being 42, but I liked it. You could still see. Yeah, I still had a job there. I still was working in waste management. Yeah, that's a good age and good number. Those were the days, my friend. Right. Those were the days. We thought they'd never end. It's, 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 it's fast approaching on us, Bear. We've got to remember this, okay? Mm -hmm. What I'm trying to say is I want to set myself a certain parameter limit. I actually found Juco Ted to be fucking quite intelligent. He said, you know what? He's wealthy. He made over a million bucks in crypto crap, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, for but sure. he's only got one Rolex. Ah, that's enough. I don't need to. What do I need? Well, I thought, fuck, he's right. How many fucking things do you need? And uh, that's a very fair point, don't you think? How many yeah. of this shit do you need, Bear? You're asking the wrong guy if you're asking Bear or me. <laughs> I don't know how to respond. I mean, he always kind of starts this with me, and I don't know what to say and how to answer this, honestly. We have a problem. Generally, I, 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 I don't, I, yeah, yeah, 100%, 100%. You know what, though, Bear, honestly, I think to myself, it could be a lot worse. Think about these guys who drink a lot. They do drugs. Oh, yeah, I go through that, too, convincing myself how You're, good we are. They've got yeah, nothing to show for it. they got no, nothing no, to show yeah, for They have nothing to show for it. Bear, if we had to liquidate, I mean, we might not get back everything that we spent, but we would get back, a, you know, the, the lion's share of it. Yeah, true. Good point. Super chat. Super chat, super chat. Where have you been? The mask. The mask, $10. Happy Easter. When is Easter, Bear? The Easter that uh, that uh, you that you celebrate is uh, this Sunday. That's right. Well, now, Orthodox Sunday? Easter is another matter because you're not on the Gregorian calendar. That is correct. You have what we would call secret Easter. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, March thirty first. That's Easter Sunday. Fuck. Yeah. So it's Easter my, Friday my, today. My Easter is on uh, on Sunday, May fifth this year. Because so Easter Friday today. Yeah, well, because it's Friday in. Well, for Friday. you, yes. Today is the Easter Friday. Fuck! I didn't even know that. Yeah, you What's don't that, have man? Easter. You don't have Easter Bunny, but you have Easter Bear. Yes, Easter. Yes. Bear. Good Bear is a good Easter Bear. I really didn't discover Easter until, you know, I got with Satan's kitten because his family does Easter. I mean, my people, we have like, you know, Passover, which is like really bad food. And then I discovered Easter and, oh, my God, it's really good food. We can. Yeah, it can be very good food. You're right. You're right. Honestly, my people, what do we get for our Easter, which is Passover? We get tears, suffering. We get chopped up fish balls in fish jelly. It is not nice. Is, no, no, yeah, I've been, I attended, I know. You know, and we like it, Bear, because we are culturally, you know, 
we're like culturally like beaten into thinking that we're lucky to have the, these chopped up fish balls and fish jelly. <laughs> you know, and to make it festive, bear they put like a like like a boiled carrot on top of this gefilte fish. <laughs> like, oh, uh, I'm laughing because they've seen it, they understand yeah. it. I know exactly what you're saying. Yeah, and then I get with this. I get Satan's kitten is you know they're, they're Catholic. And there's like boiled eggs and there's chocolate, there's Easter eggs, and they give me an Easter basket and they fill it with booze. I mean, it is a, it's a much better holiday. You know, your loving God is much better than my vengeful, angry Jewish Wish. God. And we've got a super chat from Lemon Curly Curly. Lemon Curly Curly, five bucks. You wonder why I call you man child? GFY, laugh out loud. Go and fuck you. <laughs> Fike, you know, Fike. We say Fike. Fike. Uh, you, you. Did we miss Yankee Doodle super chat? Ooh, Yankee Doodle. Here we go. Five bucks. How oh, much yeah. is your highest net worth viewer worth? If you had to guess. Oh, that's a good question. <coughs> I, I reckon the highest net worth. I've US had dollars. viewers who are worth over a billion dollars. U.S. dollars. Cars and Chrono. Cars and Chrono. Oof. CB. 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 Uh, I, I, I would say probably the highest net worth is over a billion plus. That's okay. incredible. I had a billionaire in my kitchen once. It, she she was wearing sweatpants. <laughs> but she I nice? Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. Very salt of the earth. How did you know she was a billionaire? Like there's a billionaire it's and then there's a billion. Because there's streets and hospitals named after her in this city. And it's Chicago. It's a big city. She's a very public person. But anyway, was she nice? Yeah, yeah. No, she was very down to earth. Matter of fact, she complained about the price of my dog training, so I offered to give her a payment plan. She she laughed. <laughs> and wrote, yeah, serious. She laughed and wrote the check. But um, <laughs> no, it wasn't Oprah. Exactly. It was not Oprah. She laughed. She complained. I mean, I mean, you, you, you know, I've got to tell you this. You don't, you always, the big fear in business is that you've actually, undersold somebody yourself. Somebody actually just reminded me, you haven't uh, pinned the link. There are people mm. trying to jump on, um, so they can't, obviously. Not a problem, Bear. Yes, thank you very much for telling me, because this is what stalls the program, and then I wonder why it's not taking off with the Eagles, Bear. Mm. Well, I like the Eagle. When the Eagles, uh... Mike, Mark, Mike, Mark, Mike. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Hey, Mike, we are talking. About, me. We're talking about doing an EV conversion on the nine thirty. What do you think of you know loading that thing up with batteries? Uh, no, I'd rather do a nine fourteen. There, there are oh. already kits available made for especially for the nine fourteen. Okay, it's, it's okay. a better platform. All right. Hey, listen, I just got the call from, uh, from you know who upstairs, from my boss. <laughs> I got to uh, go, boys. Over, Mark. Oh, come on. All right. We'll let you go this time. I got to do it. Thanks for coming <laughs> on, Mark. Man's got to gotta do what a man's got to do. <laughs> love you guys. Take care, Mark. Hey, we love you, Mark. Marky, thank you so much for coming on. Very inspiring. Very inspiring guy. I mean, I just love him on because he just just gives you a really warmth. Mikey, um, any any um, regrets selling your Rolexes to buy this car? Oh no, no one, none whatsoever. No, uh, they'd always okay. They, yeah, I mean, they had always been in the back of my head, money in the bank for something, yeah, some big. If if that big thing came along, um, yeah. And, my ability to uh, like save that amount, let's say, let's say I just had my my goals set and I started saving sure. money. It's impossible. I would wouldn't happen. I'd get halfway there and I'd, I'd buy some, you know, else. You know, I, I just I wouldn't never yeah. be able to put that amount of money together. And so I had to put it in a form uh, that I could translate it into money when I needed. Uh, and that's what I did. And I lost, you know, on both ends and, you know, everybody gives me shit about it, but so what? <laughs> it's only money. Um, and it's yeah, I'm super only happy. Only money. Um, it's super happy. I'm super happy. I did what I did and I still got my speedy, which I absolutely love. 
And I, I agree with Bear on in some respects as far as design wise. You know, it, it isn't really uh it, it is tool watchy looking. Um and it's not as uh flashy or or, or elegant as let's, let's say a sub. Um but I'm I'm really loving this watch. Plus it's my only nice watch. <laughs> um and but this year I'll be getting an, another sub, I think. Mm. Wow. Let's be just be starting over with the the three piece, you know, collection and then hopefully continue on from there. But um it'll go sub, speedy, and something else. Not sure what. You know, if I if I'm doing when you get a tuna black bay? No, I hate those. Um, I hate why the, that's the last watch I'd ever buy. I don't I don't like the Black Bay 58. Maybe a regular Black Listen Bay. Listen to me. Regular Tudor Black, Black Bay. Bay. Tudor Black Bay Burgundy. Yeah, and no, you get an Explorer 2. Perfect three piece combo deal. Why Speedy. are you forcing it on for him something he doesn't like? He doesn't like Tudor Black Bay. No, no, no. I, the Black Bay 58, I don't like. The Tudor Black Bay he's talking about, the, the Burgundy one, I, I, I love. It's, it's wonderful. I'd take it. It's 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 a runner. It's it's in the running, um, but it's more uh, affordable, man. For, it's more affordable. Yeah, it, it definitely is, uh, and and I love it. It's you know, it's like, yeah, I, I love the Black Bay regular Black Bay. It's forty two millimeters. It's got a regular uh, style old school looking bezel on it. You know, it's not ceramic, um, but it has uh, the. The clicks on at least my my Pelagos were the the sweetest, most precise clicks uh, of any watch I've ever turned the bezel on, including all my Rolexes. Um, and I don't know if that I can't remember because I I did have it in my hands and put it on my wrist, but I can't remember it, the the clicks on the Pelagos was something I noticed later on. I was just like, God damn, this is just fucking perfect. Um, but yeah. But uh, no, a three piece a sub speedy and maybe um, oh, uh, Santos, I think would probably you know, I, I would want to keep them all on the, roughly the same level financial wise. I wouldn't, wouldn't want to get a cheaper one, so things are going well. Wow. Probably with Santos, that would be my that'd be my my rebuild trio as time goes on, huh? Starting with the same. Yeah. yeah, man. I gotta and tell you. Already owning um, have you have you um thought about doing a bit of uh would you ever put your car on e Toro, Mike? On on what? E Toro. You can rent out your car, earn some money. Oh god no. No, 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 no. No. You reckon? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, this car was this, this car's nickname is the Widowmaker because people who didn't know how to drive them back then wrapped themselves around trees, and this is basically not much different than how it came out of the factory. Um, it's just got way more horsepower, which makes it even more dangerous. Um, and you you have to like totally just n know how to drive a rear engine car. They drive differently. And if you go trying to be sporty and get sideways in a rear engine car, you're and you don't know what you're doing. At least you're you're in trouble because um, they behave completely differently. Um, and then th the fact that it's it's a total collector's item car. I mean, it's it's a jewel. No, I would never let anybody touch it. Nobody will probably ever drive it except for maybe a, a technician or somebody I want to listen to something or feel something about yeah. the car i was hoping you could let me have a drive of it when i come to uh, if you come if you san come to, if you come to san fran and you make your way up here because i'm not driving it down to san francisco just yet i i yeah. expect i expect to uh, be confident in it enough to be able to drive to san francisco without issue but um at this point um I haven't really gone through that last 5% of, of stuff that needs to be done. There's one fuel line that needs to be replaced. That can I, I drive it? Yeah, yeah. I'll let you drive it. You can drive a stick shift, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. 
Well, it's just the same as your car, um, except, you know, the gear shift's on your right-hand side. But the the H pattern's the same, and uh, it's got a re- it's got a light switch for a clutch, so you'll stall it a few times. But um, yeah, you can drive it. Heavy clutch or light clutch? It's uh, it's got a pretty heavy clutch. It's got a big like a big, truck. Yeah, it's got a big it's got a big heavy racing clutch in it. It takes a lot of force to push that pedal down. But then when you go to let the clutch out, you have like a quarter inch before it's like totally engaged it's like a light switch um and doesn't do much slipping you got to really have a finesseful left foot with it um to to drive it smoothly on the road sounds like a pain in the ass Ah, once once you get it takes five minutes just once you get used to it then you're all good you know but once you get in it the first first time you get it and put it in gear you're gonna go boom you know and just stall it because you just don't know like where it engages and how it engages that's all it's no big deal it takes five minutes to get used to and then you're all good mm. i gotta tell you i was really hoping mikey with uh, the porsche events um i was I'm really hoping, hoping that you'd, you'd be adding some some porsche inspired watches i was hoping you get a monaco for yourself Ah yes, okay. You know what? No, what? Isn't that? That what is the Porsche? My, that would be my third watch. That would be my third watch, probably. Yes, you're totally right. Because the the Speedy's a, a racing watch. Um, even though it's a moon watch, it's a, it's was originally designed for racing, and um the yeah the Monaco or um the uh um yeah. The Monaco um, is probably uh, definitely would be in the running as a third watch for sure, just because of the racing. Now, I, uh, when I had my Ducati, we were we were looking at a number of watches from Tudor and a couple of other companies because they were red and red and black. Um, but I don't have my Ducati anymore, so now I got to think what watches. Uh, so I got to just think racing car watches, you know, like what are the racing watches are there? There's, I know, uh, Cartier has that one with the, uh, the crown up at like two o'clock. Um, is another racing watch from Cartier. Cartier, would you, the racing watch they've got, they got a couple of right, uh, racing watches. They got the drive, the roadster, they got a number of watches. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Um, well, you know, uh, if I had a diver and I had a chronograph, um, my third would, you know, may very well be a racer, race inspired. Hundred percent right, man. I think you. That's the way to go. <clears throat> Tell me this: um, how many watches do you want to build up to, Mikey? It really just depends on um, my life and my finances. You had that dream for the Vacheron for a while. Would you ever go back there? Oh, if I have enough, you know, um, if if I'm doing well enough to be able to sack, sack that much away or, you know, yeah, I, I would still grab one of those. I, I still think they're the bracelet on those and the, the dial is just the deepest. Most you realize perfect. if you sold the 930, you could I build would, a really thick kick ass yeah. watch collection i'm a motorhead before i'm a watch guy though uh-huh. that's the problem that's the only problem yeah <laughs> i see what you're saying that's a problem mike yeah. it's um it's good to see you got the car but in this in, in this in this social media space you've got to really be able to click with the times people want you to buy expensive shit every week that's what they expect out of you <laughs> character on the show unfortunately i don't have my own channel and um you know my income level is uh, meager it allows talking me to- about racing watches uh how do you like the ones they sent you to your whatsapp okay let's have a look there bear clooney has sent me some racing watches let's have a holy fuck bear <coughs> I'm loading them up now. I know there's a couple of classics that I'm f- totally forgetting oh, about. Right. 
This is from Tag Hoya. You, you've become a Tag Hoya bitch since you got your Toby <laughs> on YouTube. Now, I'm, curious to, I'm curious to see what you think about it. I don't like them. No, eh? No. Uh, Why you don't like them? Oh, well, I already got a chronograph, and these are just, uh, I don't, I like These are Formula ones. One, aren't they, Bear? They're Formula yeah, One? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, uh, the newest Formula yeah. One, yes. Well, all right, I, I might own one um, because of Formula One, but uh, I, I generally only buy watches with a bracelet, and um, these look like anodized aluminum uh, dials. They shine wrong. They, they, they don't. The colors are kind of generic red, generic green, and generic yellow. Um, mm -hmm. And I bought one of these. Do you like it? I do. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm not. I mean, I don't have anything really it's bad kind of like to a, say about like them. A, like a like a fun toy watch. Yeah. No. No. I, I got nothing bad to Guess say. Guess what other than... color did I buy? Oh, I think you probably bought. No, you bear green. And you, Archie, what do you think? I've got to be honest with you, Bear. Out of all those there, I would probably go for the yellow. Yeah, green or yellow. Mikey was right. Mikey was right. Yeah. I bought the green. Yeah. It's... I'm the only one that buys the red Milgauss. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah. the green is probably the rarest. That's probably the most special color because it's a special green, isn't it? These are quartz, like, aren't they? I just like it. I just like the that they're such a they're such a fun watch. Yes, to it, be honest. It, with you. It, this is quartz. It definitely man. looks. Yeah, quartz. It's definitely a sharp looking watch. You know, it's got kind of a like a a, a Seamaster, uh, you know, Omega, uh, d b like the the cutouts on the edge of the bezel, but they're they're not as deep. Um, and I like the 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 raised numbers kind of like on the uh yacht master that's pretty cool um yeah this is this is sharp what's the price point on these like 1500 uh cheap uh, cheaper cheaper than that cheaper okay yeah Fucking good. did you buy it new you have always buy new this is only new release um super charts big boy super charts we got a Don't super chat. Up, um... Elite, five dollars. Hello, Pluto. Hello, Patel. Hello, Pluto. Hello, Patel. What a great guy. What a really great guy. Isn't he lovely? What a great guy. Thank you, Patel. I really do appreciate it. Uh, and we've got a super chat from Spinnaker, five bucks. Even though Pontiff will say they're shitters, don't mind the Porsche. Branded watches, yeah. I don't hate them. They yeah, used to be a collab with IWC. Did you know that? And they were titanium. They were the poor Porsche design. Then Porsche design got too big for its boots, and they went out on their own. Do you remember those pair? Of course. I think those are fun watches. I sent you two more tag hoyers. One I have ordered, and the other one I admire so much. I'm a tag whore. whore. I'm a tag whore. Tag whore. Oh, bear, you fucking, you've tickled my fancy. Actually, I really love this watch. Yeah, I ordered that watch. Besides the fact, besides the fact I cool. can't pay retail, it is so cool. I don't pay retail for tag whore ever. This is limited edition, I think, isn't it? The skipper. You know what? Uh, it's uh, not uh, why uh, why uh, it's not really easily available, and uh, I have to wait a little bit. But I am definitely I like, looking forward to that piece. I like this watch. Well, we got a super chat from Patel Philippe. Patel Philippe, five dollars. He says, "Bear, that breakfast at the New Yorker was really good." I never got to ask you to ask you how what you ordered what you ordered what what it was you ordered. It looked tasty. What did you order, Bear? It was it an omelet? Um 
What? <laughs> what did you order? Sorry, I, I completely got lost. What do we, what, what, what do you, there, that breakfast at the New Yorker was really good. I never got to ask you how, what you ordered was. It looked tasty shit. Well, I forgot. What did I order in New York? Jesus Christ, Dan, you puzzled me. Uh, I was, I think, fuck, I don't remember, Dan. I'm sorry, man. I genuinely don't remember. Mm -hmm. uh, when I go stay again, if I do end up going, which I don't know if I will, uh, I will check it out and I'll let you know. You don't know if you're going where, man? In New York. You, you're going, you mean you're talking about the October trip? Yeah. Well, why aren't you sure if you're going? I, AD never calling is going to beat me up. So I'm scared. <laughs> He's coming. Yeah, yeah you, you, you gotta come. If you don't come, but what if he yeah, beats he, me up? Uh, I'm scared, man. He loves you. You think so? <clears throat> I know so, Bear. All right. Another super chat uh, from uh, Patel Philippe. <coughs> Patel Philippe, five bucks. Bear Suki Blit, you remember ordering fucking two McMuffin sausages, but you forgot the best meal. Oh, you're talking breakfast at McDonald's. I thought you're talking about having a breakfast at New Yorker at, at that uh, diner. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Of course, I remember that. I remember the craziness that happened and all the, the fucking the fight and the shit. It was fucking <laughs> wild. <laughs> fight at McDonald's? Yeah, man, it was crazy. Absolutely crazy. <laughs> over Was it over the McMuffins? Mm-hmm. So was a, there was like a feeding frenzy over the two. No, man, it was. I'm not joking. It was some fight with uh, security and homeless people. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I'm not joking. It was really nasty. It was. No, I, I can believe it. I can totally believe it. It was that. just yeah. fucking wild. <laughs> you can never Amazing really uh, anticipate that kind of shit, right? You know. I never seen that in Canada. Thank God. Super chat mm -hmm. from uh, Lemon Curly Curly five dollars. Five bucks. Lemon Curly Curly five bucks. Man child, I sponsored the Watch Reporters Watch Collection a while back and dedicated to our CEO. You will ever deliver. Will you, Curly? Can you get the photos sent to me? How do I get the photos for the collection? I'm happy to do the review. If I owe Curly a review, I need yeah, to get absolutely. the photos. How do I get the photos? Uh, absolutely, Curly. Send, send. Uh, if you if you want to send it to me, or I'll make sure we do it. No problem at all. Exactly. I got to be honest with you, Bear. I need to get the photos, otherwise I can't. I can't get the, uh, I'd also like the reference numbers if it's possible. Yeah, I uh, I will absolutely participate in that. Super chat from Patel Philippe, $10 Canadian. Here we go. We've got uh, Patel Philippe, $10 AC3. The best is going to these events and then your aroma is described in detail afterwards on the streams. On the streams, streams, streams. Marcelo, Nikki, baby, etc. However, Bear did say I smelled like candy, so I'll take. I'll that. take that. Yeah, that's true. He does. He does smell like candy. He smokes some kind of candy thingy. Candy which... crush. Candy crush. I don't know, so some candy stuff, candy smelling thing. And uh, yeah, he smells like candy, which is kind of nice. Mm -hmm. For sure, for sure nice. Um, Brightling, yeah, yes, uh, Patrick, I bought the Brightling Aerospace. So I have uh, absolutely two awesome quartz watches. I have a Brightling Aerospace and I have a uh, 
I have a Tuck Hoyer Formula One. Love those two quartz pieces there. Awesome shitters. Love them. They're so fucking cool. So cool. Uh, I would even bring them uh, to New York, but I'm afraid to go there because I don't want to get beaten by you. I am toothless, uh, fat communist. And uh, I have to be cautious because you're a tough guy. Super chat from Herman Love. Herman Love, we've got $2. You and AC3 are going to my performance, Bear. I would be honored. Herman is a really top musician. Wow. Absolutely the best of the best. I was hoping Hoffmeister could get him a deal. Um, get him a deal. Uh, Hoffmeister can get him a deal for what? Sorry, I don't know what you're talking Recording about. Recording contract, Bear. Oh, for that? Um, I don't think that's the genre that uh, Hoff Hofster deals with. I see. But I do, I do admire Herman's uh, performances, and I, uh, I do love classical music. I do enjoy it very much. So I would, uh, I would really like that. To be very honest with you, I really like that Polish guy. I remember that Polish guy, Greg, who was my friend for a while until. We had Greg Kinder is a nice guy. I, I still stay in touch with him. He's a really nice guy. What does he say about me? Nothing. I don't. I never talked to, about you with him, to be honest with you. Yeah. He's sort of gone a bit quiet on me, Bear. Well, I don't know what happened, to be honest with you. Um, I don't even know why you guys had the issue. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not actually in a loop on that. He got upset. I paid him to come and play for me, right? Okay. And then I he got upset when I started. I bought that stupid. You remember I bought that sh bullshit luxury channel, Elite Luxury. Yes. Oh, yeah, I remember. And he was angry that I put some of his piano playing on there. I was trying to create ambience. Oh, and, and you did. didn't ask him for permission? What? Why did I need to ask him for permission? I had it on my other channel. I just putting some classical music of his up. He goes, why have you put it? I said, well, I fucking paid your air ticket for you to fly up and play this fucking thing. I, you know, don't I have the, anyhow, he just, he just, he just, nasty things were said. I, he was going through a divorce and I said some nasty things. He said some nasty things to me. And, um, I think I, I just want to. I just want to wish Patrick safe flight. Where's he flying to? I have no idea, but I do want to wish him safe flight. Now we got another super chat in Bear Ali Baba six nine five bucks. Bear, me and Golden Baba are gonna brawl at New York too, but then we will make up Brokeback Mountain style if his balls ever decide. <laughs> if his balls ever oh, oh shit oh what happened there what what did i miss that's fucking hilarious okay that's funny where's the golden barber i miss golden barber i miss I him mean, very much patel uh, another philippe. another super chat patel philippe five bucks ac3 what sort of tributes does mental jock need to provide to you so that you don't call him a piece of shit when you visit Dubai. I love Mental Jock. Mental Jock is great. Why is he asking you this? Did you call him piece of shit? No, 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 no. What no. did you? Ah, you called him poor. Why would you call him poor? I never called him poor. When did I call him poor? In that text that you sent to Laksipu and. Uh, the text that uh, pissed everyone off that visited you in Bangkok. What? I didn't call it poor. I don't know. That's, I guess I listened to that on Dungeon, so maybe not. Um, no, Jock is an awesome guy. I love mental Jock. Really, really cool guy. And uh, interesting guy. I love when he runs the Dungeon. I love listening to him. A cool guy. I love Jock and I respect Jock. Uh, mm. next super chat from Hans Knees and Toes. Here we go, Hans Knees and Toes, five pounds. <coughs> it's been a while, Bear. So, for old times' sake, 
say, pay that man his money in your best John impression. Pay this, <clears throat> pay this man his money. Pay this man his money. There you go. John Malkovich. I love John Malkovich. Mm, of course, he's the best. Which he's movie awesome. was that from? Uh, gambling movie. Fuck, what was the name? Is it The Gambler? Um, he plays the KGB guy. Okay. Patel Philippe. Rounders, Rounders. Thank you, Rounders. Toyota Mo, and thank you, Hans Knees and Toes, and thank you, GB. That is correct. Thank you, Leeds, Rounders. Great movie, actually. I, I enjoyed it very much. Uh, next up, Chad. Patel Philippe, five bucks. Two panelists who I do miss from down under are Jeff and Archie's friend, Marky. That fucked up the gray. Well, he didn't fuck it. He just with the, the, the bits of cork fell into the bottle. Big. Are big. you joking? That was the best fucking video ever. What a fucking morons you two were. I mean, fuck me, that if anyone could destroy the bottle of wine more than you two, <laughs> the two fucking morons. I I did not stop laughing. Like seriously. <laughs> You fucking kept going and going and fucking it up. <laughs> ultimate, I saw ultimate. That, I saw that. You remember that, Marky? Uh, yeah, Mikey? Yeah. Yeah, you, can, you can use a, a, a cloth um, napkin to get a cork out of any wine bottle, just lickety split, no problem. Yeah, yeah, that was fucking good. Dumb and dumber that, for that sure. Was great, with it was like the, the, the incremental dissection of the cork and. <laughs> Oh, here I can do it. <laughs> Actually, bring the second dark horror that I am craving. Yeah, this is actually an interesting watch. I love the, uh, it's got the spearmint green. What is it? Spearmint green, you would say, Bear. It's absolutely, absolutely beautiful. I must say, the Skipper, that's a great watch. That's a great piece. Uh, just getting I, the I other one up one. now. I love that watch. And here it is, Bear. Look at that. Wow. Is it fantastic? Ooh, turbion. 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 Go on this, Bear. Tell us the story. I know it's just a newly released. I love the color. I like the, I like the glass box style. I love the turbion. I love everything about this watch. It's just fucking remarkable to me. Wow. I don't it's, know why um, people fucking hate Doc Hoyer. I don't, I don't get it. I fucking love Doc Hoyer. Yeah, this, this style really has a lot going on. You know, around the edge, it, it's con, you know, concave around the edge. Uh, I haven't seen it's many the glass like box, that. The glass box style, that's gorgeous. Yeah, um, pretty cool. And it's a turbion. <laughs> Not to <Yeah>. mention. <laughs> that's that's pretty, pretty awesome, man. I gotta tell you something, Bear. That watch there, can you get it on a bracelet or is it only on the strap? I, I, uh, that's only on a strap. We got Doc BBW joining us. Hello, Doc. How are you? Hello, Doc. Let's see. Okay, we got some technical issues with Doc. He's you. Oh, there, there he yeah, is. I'm gonna tell you something. How is there any way you could upgrade to this watch yourself? This is a Torbion. Uh, could you upgrade your one to this one, Bear? Pardon me? He wants this me to a consider upgrading to you, a tag. Could you, could you upgrade, Bear? Up, me upgrade. What do you want me to upgrade? Your, your Torbion to this one. Why would I do that? I like my turbine. I bought my turbine with the purpose because I really like it. And you want another one. You want this one also. Isn't this, is this a nicer one? I like this one as well for different reasons. And it doesn't um, run the risk of it does not run the risk of being a hillbilly turbine. I mean, this no, is no, this real, is a real deal. This real is deal. real deal here. Yeah. 
I like mine because it's more sporty. I, I like mine because it's the most sporty turbine I ever seen. So, and it's odd that a turbine would be put on a dress watch. It doesn't seem to fit, does it? I mean, it seems more like something you'd put on a sports watch. It's more common on dress watches. I don't know many, to be honest with you. Yeah, I, I would. I was kind of thinking the other way around. It it doesn't seem like a dress watch aesthetic to me it seems like a really easily break broken high-tech thing that you wouldn't put on a sports watch <laughs> that's all um well in terms of mechanics it is delicate but in yeah, terms of that's... aesthetics it it i don't know it just doesn't it doesn't seem to fit something that i would con yeah. it's not it's not something i would consider an elegant component of the watch some some, some companies put their turbine on the back you know with a see-through yes. see case so that's can, a really cool quiet flex yeah. too. very have cool your... quiet flex you have a yeah. big super chat from patel philippe archie 20 bucks <laughs> wow my god patel philippe 20 dollars it is cold and windy autumn night in New York City. AC3 is exhausted from an, an afternoon full of negotiations on WeChat. He glances at the picture one more time before he enters the wine bar. What happens next? <laughs> I'll tell you something for sure. He, New York shoves, is no he shoves the cork into the wine. Let me tell you this. You know, two glasses of wine in a wine bar in New please, York. Please, please don't start. It's expensive <laughs> shit. Just play <laughs> along with this, uh, with this amazing super chat. Please, just, just entertain us, please. We we know it's expensive. Please, okay, entertain us. Unless you're going to say it's expensive, but it's worth it. If you're going to say that, then it's fine. Oh, come on, this expensive shit. Every, everything is expensive. Fuck me, that. Uh, the world's expensive. I sit down and have a wine, and I'm greeted by a Hong Kong Chinese lady. Uh -huh. oh. I, knew, I knew it was a variant of Mrs. Lai. Hmm. Do you want me to continue? Oh, that's enough. Yeah, story. yeah, yeah. Do men pay 20 <laughs> fucking dollars? <laughs> And then I, I just, I didn't want to, I got to get to the point. Things are expensive in New York. And she tells me, do you want a massage? And I said, isn't that, why would I want a massage? And she tells me that's her business is also massages. I don't know. Wow. And it turns out it's $200 fucking throw bear nothing is cheap is that in, expensive well it, it, it wasn't it, it's kind of it wasn't i didn't you know it, you get trapped people meet you you think it's just for they're lonely but they actually are running a business it's very disappointing bear. oh so there's no point. You want to wrap that up. In New York, you can blow your money very quickly. There's yep. a lot of things that can get consumed very, very fast. New York is a it's a very aggressive place, Bear. So you learn very quickly. It ain't any place to find love. Let me tell you that, Patel Philippe. New York is not the place. There is no love in New York. I think Stevie Wonder said it was uh, just enough for the city or something like that. Mm. Very expensive city. It's very dear. Exactly. How does this, how does this Torbion compare to yours as far as the price goes, Bear? Uh, well, it's newer, so discount is going to be less, but they're all around the same price. And would you could how could you upgrade? You'd have to sell it yourself. You'd have to sell yours and buy this one, wouldn't you? Of course. But I don't know why you're calling it upgrade. You are uh, passive aggressive okay. again. You're insulting my my turbine. Okay. Is that uh, considered? Why do you do that? Hmm? 
this is considered Sorry. a glass box design. Yes. I love glass box design. So is the previous one that I ordered, the uh, Skipper. Mm -hmm. That's also glass box design. Oh, you ordered it already? Yes, yes. I put a down payment. Oh, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so it'll come through. That's cool. <clears throat> And when you put this money down, if you change your mind, you can get your money back? <laughs> uh, my, my AD does let me do that. But I usually but, don't, but, because when I the, put money down, he actually has to work on it. I, I don't put money down on pieces that are easy for him to get. I put money down so he can show the brand. This is, this is a boutique only. So what he does, he says I have a good customer who wants it. He already prepaid, uh, and I would like to get it. I'm doing the same thing for the IWC engineer. And he's being because very he, generous to give it back to you if you changed your mind. Yeah, plus he's giving me discounts, which boutiques don't. Yeah. Like on my on my original turbine, he gave me thirty three or thirty five percent discount. That's quite a decent discount. Mm -hmm. That's a massive discount. Super chat, super chat. Where have you been? Super chat, super chat. Where have you been? Here we go. Patel Philippe, ten dollars. Back in Brisbane, a lonely world time sits in the darkness. The rotor is not rooted. The time zones are all correct. A second chance, we thought, for the world time. Alas, it has not to be. <laughs> he's writing poetry now, Bear. He certainly is, man. He's doing everything possible to help you out. He's he's yes. bringing entertainment. He's bringing entertainment. It's all he's bringing it all, Bear. I tell you what, he's. I just got to pick the right place. That's all. You understand? I understand. The right place, the right watch. Exactly. It's a. Um, <clears throat> in some ways, I regret not wearing it, but. It's so fucking hot here. I, 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 you sweat so quickly. I don't know if I would have enjoyed it here. It's, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, Bear. You tell me, you tell me, Bear. Bear, I like, we need Surdy Danny on. Surdy Danny, come on. Let's, let's get a Bear impression. We need the Archie Luxury, Surdy Danny, Bear Impression. That's what we need. Well, he doesn't do Bear Impression. He does Archie Impression. Archie luxury Impression. That's right. That's right. Four we have a super chat from David, $3. Although David I shouldn't three. mention it, he is working on a Bear Impression. Is he really? Is Arch true? You're with Roommate in Bangers. Arch, is it true? You're with Roommate in Bangers. Who's Roommate? Your Roommate. Ooh. I don't have oh, a roommate. roommate. Oh, he doesn't Jimmy's mean roommate. the other roommate, does he? Oh, is he thinking? Well, that would the, be that would be a major, major uh, scandal, wouldn't it? Wow, that would be amazing. Fuck, that'd be the greatest fucking stick you could pull. Actually, that oh, would be wow. amazing. I know she's she's happily married. That lady. Happily? Well, <laughs> no, depends on how you define happily. I don't know doesn't what it? the fuck are you talking about. Happily married? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> me dead. Fuck me dead. Odd definition of happy. <laughs> I haven't watched their show in eight. Are they still doing it? Is he still doing a show? Yeah, yeah, he's doing the show, Archie. Well, the question is is roommate still around on the show? I don't know. I don't watch mm. it to be honest with you. I don't I don't know anything about it. All my information from that comes from Curly covering the the content from it on dungeon and so on so curly hasn't done it recently so i don't know what's going on because it seems like the last stuff that he did and that's how i get my information as well watching curly i don't remember there being much of a visible roommate 
for a while. So um, I thought what, I just got some e email just came in from Whiskey Reaper. I thought he had good watches. Uh, sorry, I don't know what you're talking about. You need to clarify things a little bit. It sounds like you said something nasty about Whiskey Reaper. He's, now, Whiskey Reaper sent me a whole lot of photos of watch collectors, watch collection, but they just seem to be all Mickey Mouse sort of watches. I don't know. Um, you have uh, all of them in one picture. Bring it up and we can take a look. Sure. I never... I thought he had decent stuff. No? <laughs> I... As far as I remember, he had some type of attack. I don't know. I honestly don't remember. Fuck, I don't really care. What if he has several Mickey Mouse swatch watches? What I, I, I only care from the perspective that Curly paid for it. What the fuck is this? <laughs> what the that's fuck exactly. is that? No, that's not his... That's something. Um, I don't know what Whiskey Reaper is doing. That's that's not his collection. <laughs> this is somebody who's got mental illness, man. Yes, he's got a lot of mental illness. Um, can, we, can, you? can we tell what brand they are? Yeah, this I can picture Clivers having collection like this at one time. Yeah, that, that could go. Yeah, I, I can see that, by the way. Except My for it brain. doesn't spell out any vulgarity that I can detect. That's true. So that would eliminate it. Yeah. Rare birds, bear. Rare birds. That's right, Jimmy. Rare birds. <laughs> Those are rare birds. Fuck me. <laughs> it doesn't rare sound birds. like you're very enthusiastic about those rare birds. It oh, just... fucking stupidest fucking shit ever. I think it's actually a cool watch if you're if you happen to like the quartz design, but you don't want a quartz watch. Did he sell them or has he still got them? I think he sold them. I'm like 90% sure he sold the wrong them. Place. How can you sell those fucking things in, in, in Oklahoma? I mean, fuck me, Dad. It's the wrong I don't place. Think he sold, I don't think he sold them in Oklahoma. I don't remember Did exactly. You... but Did you send by mistake your uh, collection, Reaper? That's, uh, that's what uh, Lemon <laughs> Curly says. I mean... I hope I didn't insult you. I mean, what the fuck is that shit? Super chat from Patel Philippe, five dollars. Patel Philippe, thoughts on the enamel dial Rolex Day Date Thirty Six, made for the Vienna Philharmonic. Wow! Yeah, bring wow. it up, Patsy. Yes. Bring it up. That's channeling a bit of the sod there. I mean, I don't think I've ever heard of this. Yeah, that that's definitely a. That's the special Sod bit of uh, no, bring it up now. Where is Sod? Sod. Sod. Yeah, we need we need Sod back. Sod, come back, buddy. I think he's still pissed about my, you, Mikey, when you fucked no, him up for those it wasn't, uh, it wasn't me. It wasn't me, man. For the vases, man. For the vases. You remember when uh, the boxes? Yeah. Bear, 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 bear. If that's we the case, are sinking, we <laughs> are sinking on the live stream <laughs> once again. Bear. We are sinking, we are sinking. <laughs> What's up? That's fucking fantastic. Welcome. <laughs> that is absolutely fantastic. This is a gorgeous watch. Yeah, gorgeous not... watch. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it actually is. Herman, this is the watch you need. When I see this, this I'm thinking it's a golf-related watch. No, I see, I see like a violin or a guitar. Is there any chance there? we can actually see the big picture that could actually show us a little bit closer the dial? Yeah, yeah, bear, 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 bear. Is it good, bear? It's my favorite bear. Bear, yeah, we can do that, bear. <laughs> Certainly. <laughs> this is good bear, good bear. 
Is it possible, actually, you think, or no? Uh, ah, babe, I mean the, babe, yes, babe, I mean the wrong module, babe. Just uh, <laughs> let me sign into the other module there, babe. Uh, anything new in your collection, babe? You thinking of a damn salty? Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about that, Archie, for sure. I'm thinking about it, Archie. Oh, fuck, <laughs> you got the Pepsi, babe? Babe, you got the fucking Pepsi? When did you get the ah, fucking Pepsi, babe? Ah, look, it has a violin. It has, yeah. Look at that, dog. Yeah. Cool what? Oh, man. Is yeah, that it's, it's, ever it, yeah, remarkable? Yeah. The left hand is a side view of the neck, and the right hand is a top view of the the back side of the neck. You know. Yeah. Yeah, Mikey. Yeah, that's a total violin, you know, theme. In uh, Rolex dial. colors. In Rolex colors. That wow. Is, that is but I'm just gonna just tell you, if you, if you do a little 420, or something like that, Archie, you're gonna see you? a golf course. That's a golf <laughs> course right there. Uh, what do you think about this but... watch? It's expensive, eh? What do you think? It's, uh, it's expensive, but it's dear, eh? It's uh yeah, that's uh hundred percent there, bear. Uh it's uh it's expensive. What do you think, bear? <laughs> I uh, I think it's dear, Archie. I think it's dear. Yeah, submarine. Yeah. What a fucking beautiful watch. <laughs> How much Dan, I, I never runs? knew this exists. I never freaking knew this exists. Never heard this of is, it. This is, like somebody mentioned earlier, this is something like Saad would would pull up out of, because he's like the off-catalog uh, date just day date master. I mean, Mikey, knows. why are you burning Pantera? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you I, know I'll you confuse me. You tell me you're burning, uh, you're fucking burning uh, paint terrace, but then you come back and you say you're talking mistakings. Yeah, no, I, I know. Sorry about that. <laughs> you buy, you, Mike, buy. <laughs> Was what were these like? What were they? They were given. What? The, none of the musicians could actually afford to buy one of these fucking things. You know that? No, they just get to look at it. I guess so. I don't even know. Was this a regular production? Like, what? How? What's this all about? It was limited. What, I don't know anything about it. Maybe if you actually Google, uh, besides <laughs> the image, you can find out something about. You find it. out the story. Oh no. Yeah. That's a lot of pressure. Yeah, it requires, it requires reading. That's <laughs> that stuff. When I were asking other days, are any other watches that have like music related? No one brought this up. So it's a limited Hot. edition. Holy shit. Limited edition day date. Fuck me that. Do they even say how many? Is it less than 50? I don't know. I'm betting it is. It's because we've, we've, we've I mean, never I, heard I, of this thing. You know, I, don't, I don't know if I really want a 36. Colored in three different shades of green, the dial harmoniously complements its illustrious. What the fuck? What the fuck are they? You know, if it was offered to you, you would take it. Come on, thirty. There's a super chat for you, thirty. For me, thirty-six my, uh, my dear, dear punter friend uh, Jefferson Exotic. This is for thirty, Archie. Don't bother reading. Oh, it's uh, Jefferson Exotic. It's in five dollars, babe. Bear, bear, he's yeah. $5. He's $5, $5, not bad, eh? Real fucking money. Yeah. Uh, that's a uh, hundred percent there. Uh... Bear, 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 bear. What do you reckon of this day, day? Bear, bear. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's fucking dear, but uh, you're a good bear. <laughs> You're fucking remarkable. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's too good. That's actually you are better you're better Archie than Archie. You're better marshmallow than marshmallow. That's fucking that's I better, fucking amazing. I better stop doing it though. Better, I better stop doing it soon because that'll be something else he won't do on his show. Talk. <laughs> Now, <clears throat> how much pain is there involved in in changing your voice into Archie? Is there is it a painful thing? Does it? I just it cause twist discomfort? my bollocks. I just twist my bollocks like that and put them in my stomach. 
<laughs> what is your favorite imitation? Who who do you like to imitate the most? Who me? Yeah, who do you enjoy? I'm, I'm Marshmallow. Yeah, probably Marshmallow because he's funny in it and he's always doing something, so it, it's easy. And he's always uh, pronouncing stuff wrong and yes. putting, it, putting it, so it, it's just easy. You know, like once we were on stream and he was saying something about Bear has to get 10 tutors to even look at uh, Le Mans and just little shit like that stays and like when he says in Hebrew we have a saying you don't scare a prostitute with a cock you know <laughs> just random <laughs> you know, just random <laughs> shit comes out with it. It, it, <laughs> oh fucking genius man oh shit <laughs> <laughs> Archie, you have a sticker from the medium legend Toyota Mo. Toyota Mo, five dollars super, super sticker. sticker. And what is it, Ben? Let's have a look what this super look, sticker is. Oh, it's a uh, it's a laughing uh, laughing pear. It's all laughing. one pear shape. Pear shaped so, laughing. Bear, bear, bear. Do you think I should get a fucking cheeseburger? Because I, I, lately I'm fucking addicted to these fucking cheeseburgers. What do you think, mm -hmm. I think I think you should actually focus on show and eat at your own time. Do you think that's the best thing to do? Yeah, just one minute there, Ben. I'm just, uh, just going to go get a... A I minute again? Uh, just a minute again? Uh, uh, just cover me there, Ben. I'm just going to go you. there at the window. Right, <laughs> right. Fucking, you are awesome. Actually, we have a super chat from Patel Philippe, five dollars Canadian. Patel Philippe, five dollars. Panel thoughts on the day date in Ever Rose that do be do be boo at the twenty twenty four Canny Academy Awards. Well, I'm sure we I all watched the Academy Awards, right? No, I did not watch the Academy Awards, but I did see the Rolex because it was posted in numerous forums. And the and it was interesting thing because uh, you don't see often Rolex actually announcing a new watch through promoting a event. And this is kind of what was unique about it. Um, it's a beautiful watch. I mean, Archie will bring it up, I'm assuming, right? Archie has it on the screen now because he's one step ahead. We actually, there. We actually <laughs> talked uh, We talked about it on, on this uh, show, on the live stream. Believe it or not, we, we discussed the news on the watches. So, Archie, give us your uh, thoughts on that watch. I love it, that grey dial. It's a grey dial. Look, the thing is, I don't think it's that special, but, I mean, they should have had this in the range all along. What is it? It's it's a grey dial. What's the big deal? Just release it, off you go. It's, it's well, 40 mil, absolutely... 40 I would love... I've got to be honest with you. If I had unlimited money, Bear... Bear? Bear? Yeah. Bear? Yes, yes, yes. If, I had <laughs> if I had unlimited money... I really want to buy a fucking rose gold day date. I don't care. I, I'd probably, I'd have a hard time deciding between chocolate and this dial. I still like the chocolate. Either way. So this doesn't have any you, green in it. No, no green in it. The chocolate has green in it. No. No, no green. The gray. Is the olive green? It's. I think it's absolutely beautiful, fucking gorgeous. I want one, Bear. I really want a Day Date, but they're expensive, Bear. Can you make They're expensive. Bigger? Well, it's called the Luxury Watch. Probably not really. There we go. I've done it now, Bear. Look at this. Bigger for you. Look at that. Look at that, Doc. I did it for you. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I think it's a nice color. They should just have it as a mainstream color. Nothing. Nothing. It's perfect. I want one. Yeah, I like I like the the that uh, that. Okay, now let's run a hypothetical. Should I swap? Kind of, kind of gray, gray to black, or what is that? It's uh... slate, maybe not really slate, actually. Um, 
<sighs> like charcoal, charcoal, yeah. light, char light charcoal to gradient or or it's... what do you call it? Uh, guilloche or not? Not what's the? Uh, uh, it's, it's almost gradient. like they're taking it. Is that the swan neck? Oh, by any chance? <laughs> have to check and see uh -oh. who's got this one. Yeah. Swan neck. Almost like they're taking a swan black and adjusted. they're giving it a look of a vintage piece. They're giving it a look of a slight patina to it. Yeah, I like how they 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 did uh, they were uh, weren't too heavy on the black. You know. You know. Do you know what I think? This picture's been taken outside because you can see the rings of reflection around it. Yeah, and bouncing off it. With which is a uh, sun sunburst yeah. style. Oh, it's cute. <laughs> I think. Oh. <laughs> oh, hey, fuck you, Bear Clooney. Oh, fuck you, Bear. <laughs> hey, that's not the that's not the real Mike. That's oh. not the real Mike. Oh. Hey, hey there. Oh, I just wanted to come on and thank you for the pen you sent me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Archie, did you ever have a day date? Which day date did you own? Uh, I've only ever had the 36 mil, and i got to tell Which you something. One? Which one, please, if you don't mind? I had Which an 18238. Can you bring it up? I want to see the day date you oh. own. It's like the Mr. GMT one. Uh, what uh, what was the dial? What color dial? I had champagne. I had... So that's a very, very, very classic uh, day date. Yeah, I had... And I also had a cream dial, white dial. So you had white two day dates in diamond. your past. <laughs> Which one I'd did actually, you prefer? I had a blue one. I had a blue one. The first one was a blue dial, which you had three day dates. You said you Better had one. Four. You, we had Better four. Did he, just you we had one. did he say you we only ever had one day? Dave? Yeah, yeah. He said only yeah, one. one. So. <laughs> and we at the end we determined he had four. So which one was your favorite? <laughs> Maybe he only bought one. Oh, bear. Bear, I don't fuck. Does it really matter, Bear? I don't <laughs> fucking know. <laughs> exactly exactly it's um it is it is what it is you know but answer my question what was your favorite day date from those that you owned it was actually the diamond dial one i had i bought it when it was only a couple years old it was minty beautiful i wish i never fucking sold it you know I fucking was stupid. You know, I think Day Date would be great watch for you. I want a rose gold 40 mil. Any dial. Any dial. I'm okay with that too. Yeah. No, I, I wish fucking Red Shovel would have the same criteria. Rose gold, any dial, let's go. Instead, he's, he's difficult. He's very difficult. He's very. a fucking argument. That guy is a fucking instant argument. Mm. He's not an easy guy to please. Archie, why are you talking about me like that? So you are. I just come on your fucking stream and you're talking about me. So you are. You know, I gave him an umbrella bear. Oh, you keep talking about this fucking umbrella. Burr, right? burr, burr, burr. He calls me burr. Burr, burr, burr. burr. He keep talking about this fucking umbrella, so he does, and I don't even fucking know it. Curly, go back to your wang then. It's crazy, you know. It's crazy. Oh, he's called you crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's just how it goes, bear. It's tough. It's really tough. I gotta be honest with you. I don't think I'll ever be able to afford one. They're fucking expensive. I could get rid of my, my world time. Do you reckon that's worth getting rid of my world time to get a no, fucking... No, no, no. World time is amazing watch. You got it, watch, and that's probably the only yeah, watch. It's, it's, it's the money. How do I pay for this amazing fucking thing in my life? Well, you got other shitters you can sell. Actually, how many times are you going to come over a world time, and how many times are you going to come over a day date? Yeah, you got shitters to sell. A day date's just a genetic watch, isn't it? 
I don't know. I, I actually, I actually, I love the bracelet. It's the, it's, it's the fucking bracelet that makes the watch. Right. Of the, of the day date. Yeah, the, the the day date. The bracelet is what makes it so fucking amazing. It's that bracelet. It's, it's like a, like I'll be honest with you, the, the world time. Most people don't even know what it is, really, which is part of the charm. What do you think, Danny? What do you think is nice so, if I had a day date on or had the world time on? I'd have the world time, and the reason being is the day date. It's a genetic watch. It's here and there, and it? it's not. If you sold your world time now, how do you know you'd be able to get another one? Whereas you, you know you could get a day date any time. I know what you're saying, though, about the day date. You can always tell a day date from across the room without even looking at the the face of it. You can tell by backup bracelet. It's unique to its yeah. style. The, the links are, are more rounded, so they reflect differently. You, you can, you, it's you, just, just the style right. of it, you know. You know someone's wearing a day date just by looking at backup bracelet. They don't even have to see front of watch. And yep. Not that it counts for anything, but... Uh, strippers can really recognize a day date in the dark and they wouldn't be able to <laughs> tell anything about that world time. They probably wouldn't even be able to see it. Not that that matters mm -hmm. or anything, but I think if you sell that world time, you'll regret it because it's took you how long to get another one. I mean, I haven't day even really felt like I own it, you know, that I haven't even felt like I own it at the moment. That's because you never fucking wore it. Yeah, because because I had to go overseas quick, you know. It was just, it's just how it it sort of balanced out. I think that's why you might want to consider a sky dweller. Yeah, that's a good good, uh, good uh, suggestion. We have a super chat, guys. Uh, let's not miss the super chats. They keep us alive. Yes, that's exactly it. We got a super chat. Thank you so much for that. There. We got a super chat from Patel Philippe, ten dollars. I asked Lego once what was the best submariner of all time, and he said the Hulk. Does the panel agree or disagree? My take I, is the sixteen eighty red first date subby, or maybe the five five one three for no date. I uh, I don't agree. The Hulk's the best submariner ever. He's well, you know what? Maybe the best modern modern rolex i i would i would separate this into two into two two things i'm gonna say what's in my opinion the coolest vintage and i'm gonna say what's in my opinion coolest modern is that okay yeah, go yeah. For it. so for me I, I and i'm not fan of vintage but i have to say that 55 14 comics is something that always got my attention so for me 5114 comics no date with the lollipop uh, second hand with the comics on it i'd fucking love that 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 is really cool second place i would give it to the vintage rolex uh 6204 um that's uh, kind of yeah. kind of cool uh and for the modern, I'm going to agree with Plummer, and I'm going to say the best modern is probably Hulk. But uh, Patel knows how much I love the green color. You know what I say? The I'm best one say is for the, yeah. Oh, sorry. Go the ahead. best vintage or the best. I new was going to say the best vintage, which would be the Explorer dial. Dial, but it's almost impossible to get a real one. I like the sixty-five thirty-eight. Big crown. You know what I like best, Bear? You know what I like, Danny? You know what? You know what? what? Bear, Bear, Bear. You know what? You know what, Shug Mariner, I like best? It's you know what he's doing, Danny? It's I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what's really funny. He's imitating you, imitating him. <laughs> <laughs> and at least he's doing so much. <laughs> that's actually remarkable. We're going to get feedback soon <laughs> if, they get, if they get close enough. Yeah, something I special tell you, happens seriously? if you guys sink. Seriously, um, I think the answer is the solid gold 41 mil blue sub. That I think that just absolutely rocks. Uh -huh. If I had a choice, I could have vintage, I could have modern, neo vintage, any fucking thing. I'd go for a 41 mil 
solid gold call me hype call me tasteless that's what i would do get the fuck out of my way no 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 i i get that i i i have no i'm not gonna call you anything I By like the your way, style. Doc, uh, Doc, the the uh, Tanzil is letting you know that fifty one three, uh, fifty five one three has Explorer dial, Doc. Well, that's the Explorer. Explorer dial. Fifty five thirteen. Okay. Yeah. I would also wouldn't mind simply a pre ceramic, uh, full gold nipple dial. Nice. A little bit purple. Nice. Really nice. Mm. But I'll tell you what's a good watch, and not many people really bother with it, and I think it's a really good overall watch. Um, a 16610, solid end links. I yeah, agree. Of I, uh, I owned a couple of those. I think, you know, you could get through life with one of them and enjoy it. I've Very had a few. true. Very I've true. Had... You might even Agreed. be able to get uh, multiple bezels. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm thinking. I'm sorry, I'm thinking. Oh, like, on it. <laughs> no, I'm thinking a different watch. Sixteen, six, thirteen. You're thinking of, aren't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm already wanting to swap a Pepsi and a Coke bezel on this <laughs> I, know, I, know, I, know, I knew. I knew. I knew right away what you're thinking. Because that's, of course, what Bear likes when he sees me modding and he sees me swapping oh, Lord, all these bezels. Me. He's like, <laughs> so excited. I was so. going to say just the the latest forty one millimeter sub but um i gotta go with archie and say you know if 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 it's if i'm gonna go uh, you know all in it's gonna be a, a white gold blue 41 millimeter sub that's the the baller white. sub white gold mikey white gold white 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 yes. with the Didn't quite hear you. Why, why do you say it like that <laughs> because it's white man because it, it, I don't it, quite know. Why, 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 why is it written like that? <laughs> <laughs> I I put in the WhatsApp. Uh, I seen it. That's what reminded me. I was laughing. <laughs> I I wasn't even thinking about it. It must be embedded somewhere in the back of my brain. I, yeah, right I, was, I posted white white dial Wednesday and somebody said white dial like Mike the snake. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. I'll, give, I'll give that a reading a while. <laughs> white. white. <laughs> I'm not the only fucking person in the world that pronounces <laughs> these fucking H's. God damn it. I swear. <laughs> my Stewie Griffin my from family guy. Family for... used to give me so much shit about it too. <laughs> uh, they'd, be, they'd be like, <laughs> You know, can you can you pass the white napkin? And they'd be like, "What color napkin?" <laughs> white. Yeah. What? And I'd be like, "The white one." You know, and they're like, "What color?" White. <laughs> you know, <And> they're, <laughs> they're just fucking. I didn't yeah, quite man. get that there, Mike. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, you know, my mother was an English teacher, so uh, I was but, raised so how do you, uh, speaking how do you pronounce and writing name, proper Mike, yeah. English. What's that? Like, yeah. How do you pronounce your name? Is it like? Uh, like the snake, or... <laughs> no, <laughs> no, the H is silent. <laughs> the one, the one vintage I would really, I would really love to own. Um, I had to Google to find out. Uh, I remember that something that got my attention for obvious reasons was the Rolex Sub uh, Tiffany dial. Oh yes, uh, that was. What's uh, this thing keeps moving? I can't see it. 1977 Rolex Submarine Reference 1680. That was retailed by Tiffany and Co. That would be amazing fucking thing to own. I I had one in my hands, but didn't have enough to buy it. But my, Tiffany, my, that said, was uh, my jeweler had Mike, a Tiffany sub, yes, and, and was, he had it. He let me look at it and handle it. Mike, was the do you know the print on the sixteen H? You looked at was it red or was it white? I don't remember. <laughs> white, or not honestly, sixteen H white. I don't know whether it was <laughs> white. Archie, or... bring the bring. Can you bring this up? Which uh, color it was? The the Rolex sub sixteen eighty Tiffany dial. 
Yeah, yeah, okay. 1680 Tiffany. You know they had gold versions of these as well, don't you? I no, I did gold. not know, Archie. Yeah, I did yeah. not know. I think I've seen a gold nipple dial that was a Tiffany. Yeah. That's even fucking cooler. Yeah. But I would, I would love, I would love either one. I would be so happy with that. That is, see, that is vintage that I would love. I, not to wear. That that wouldn't be wearable watch for There's me. There's a gold one, Ben. Look at this. There you go. That's, That's gorgeous. Ah, oh, you wear the fucking thing. Who cares, Bear? You only live once. And this is this is the. That's the steel, yeah. That's I think at one. Tiffany and gold. The last time I looked at the prices, it was around two hundred. So I don't know if you just would wear it. The steel one, the steel one sold, I think, for forty grand on the auction that I was following. So wow. the steel is about forty. So still within reach. Well, it's still a lot of fucking money for Look steel rolling. Look at the picture of this one. You can mm -hmm. see the uh, the end link has been has been polished down to where you can barely even see the uh, the lines. You know the ridges in the. Uh, oh, that'll be the uh, that'll be the end link that's worn. It might the end link. Yeah, the end link. It'll um, worn because no one. You can just uh... tell it's been polished over a few times. Hey, <laughs> I never thought about that. Might try that. See, see the reflection? It's not straight. See how it's curved? It's got well, a all it is it. is just polished. It's, it's a little over polished for some reason. Yeah. I think it's I just mean, the that's... I think it's just the end link that's worn it over the years. Well, yeah. Not, uh, yeah, yes. Because they're not you solid can also other... see the, the edges of the uh, bezel are a little soft, so they may have gotten uh, they may have come that way. I don't know, because I'm not a big uh, vintage expert, but um same thing happens when somebody gets too aggressive with the buffing wheel on the uh, the tips of the uh, bezel, you know? I mean, it will have been polished, Mike, definitely been polished because they all have put people oh, to Yeah, game. of course, of course. And at this vintage, you know, you're not complaining, just something to, just pointing it out. Actually, I think I, 40 grand is cheap. Mm -hmm. For a Comex or for a Tiffany? For a, oh, hell yeah. For, for a legit for Tiffany legit. dial, I think that might be. Not a bad price. Yeah, these are these. That's, these uh, that's forty thousand US. You yeah. have to be careful, even when they make it to the auction houses, they may not be as authentic as you would hope. Yeah, no, no doubt. That's why, to be very honest with you, I would never bother because I would always think like that. Uh, uh, if I'm not expert myself, then I don't bother. These bracelets yeah. on these are really comfy because the uh, they're expanding bracelets, aren't they? On these? No, no, it's not. It's not. It's just a folded over link, or it might yeah, even be the later one. Then. Well, you can't look the inside. The later it. ones. Uh, it's yeah, just it a looks, solid bracelet. I think it looks a little heavy to be the expandable one. Yeah, the expandable like, ones like, are really I early. I like Let's the gold one right there. there. You, you're going past the gold one, but uh, no, but the gold one. It's a different animal. Of course, it's a different animal. Oh, you can't really see. You can't really it's get a, a good picture. A, I think it's animal. folded. I think these are folded. These are definitely not expanding ones. Okay. What year? What year is that? This would be. This well, it have to be seventies. Uh, seventies, yeah. Yeah, I think the expandable yeah, ones yeah, were from yeah. the sixties. Yeah, it's late, like that. Yeah. Yeah. But they're usually a little bit more sloppy. 1680s came out six, 1967 to 1980. There you go. They're the Tiffany ones. Tiffany one. Well, 1980. Yeah. This, this is the Tiffany ones were available from. Oh, sorry. There we go, guys. That's the show for today. I tell you what, we've had some good fun, Bear. Are you what's happening, Bearwick? I'm flying back on Sunday. I got a couple more days in Bangkok, two more mm -hmm. shows. Mm -hmm. um, I'm hoping to see a few people before I go. And okay. um, tell you what, it's going to be fantastic. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be fantastic, Bear, because I'm going to Dubai and I'll be doing the show at um, 3 a.m. in the morning. So, if fuck. fuck me dead. <laughs> I have to look at that. There's yeah, man. Yeah, that's, that's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Just how long Let's are you? Go. How long are you in Dubai? A week. A week. A week. A week. 
Well, and get we, uh, Luxy to, to do the show. Yeah, I'll see the what day. I can do. I'll see what I can do. He needs money, and I need to have some sleep then. Guys, um, it's been a great show. I want to no, thank no, you. I no, want to no, go no, through. No, no, no. Archie, you got to do three hours. I'm sorry, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure. But it's not too early to say that there should be some folks thumbing up. Like, how are you going to afford the day date? And how are you going to get all these nice things if you don't put work in? Sure. 25 more minutes, you might get another 50 bucks, 20 bucks, 30 bucks. That's important, man. That's important, you know? All up. So yeah. that's how you end up having money to actually buy shit you know what i mean yes your yes. Uh, career as a male prostitute is done it's over so your <laughs> only option to make money is doing these live streams sadly it can't last forever mm -hmm. even for the best no of us. no it just can't so I, I i just noticed you started later so we got 25 more minutes to go we're having a good shot we have a good panelist we're gonna Thank keep going, you. Archie. Yeah, we're gonna do okay. we're gonna do twenty five minutes. And guys, I hope we can have some upvotes, and I hope we can have a few super chats. So I don't look like a total. Do you mean to do some me. Gonzo on the street? Go and get a coffee. Get a do a Gonzo. No, no, you're not no, getting no, please, fuck that shit. No. You're gonna please and that. No, no, no. please, no, please. Uh, and you can't go to the toilet as well. I I, I no, need no, to mention no, something that's gonna it. upset some people. And it's going to make some people very happy. And that is that we're, we're going to have to move this conspiracy show because we weren't realizing that it was going to be on the Easter weekend. Right. You know what? I don't blame you. This is correct. We didn't think about it when we were planning it. Your viewership is going to go down. It's going to be dismal. So I agree, man. I agree. And there is a super chat, Archie. You see, ask, and they'll give few more minutes you won't regret it sure ali barber six nine ten dollars for your travels thank you so much thank, thank you ali really cool. do it next weekend do it uh weekend after because that'll, that'll be that'll be uh, free of all the holidays by then correct and archie will be back in brisbane it's going to be normal show uh when are you going to dubai archibald uh, I'm going back. I'm going on the 9th, actually, the 9th of um, April. Oh, Jesus wow. Jesus Christ, man. Super chat from Spinnaker. Thank you, Spinnaker. Uh, Spinnaker see, people, five people bucks. appreciate this, Archie. People appreciate ah, this. Look at that. Spinnaker, five bucks. I'll buy Archie's coffee later. Thanks for staying. Thank you. <laughs> see, Archie, it, it's, it's nice, eh? Yeah, that's, isn't it, that's isn't it nice to it be wanted? It You're is. good, Archie. You're good, Archie. Yes. You're good, Archie. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Very good. Uh, yeah, that's it, uh, Bear. It's uh, we've had some uh, interesting things, uh, some good stuff on the show uh, tonight, Bear. It's uh, been a good show. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's uh, NATO straps, big, big NATO straps. Oh, yeah, <laughs> awesome, man. You're awesome. Can I say I changed my mind? I'd kind of like to have Surdy Danny's Archie Luxury on our conspiracy show. No offense, Archie, but I know you're going to be asleep by then. Sure. Yeah, BBW, yeah, we can uh, certainly do that. Uh, yeah, we can do that. Uh. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we have another super chat from Spinnaker. Thank you, dear Spinnaker. I appreciate this. Arch. Spinnaker, Spinnaker, $5. And yes, Bear, he needs yeah. the fucking money. That's right. That's right. Toyota Mall, uh, when is, did you pick up, did you get uh, uh -oh. the Snoopy Moon, uh, moon Swatch? Moon Swatch. 
Is, have you got yours? What's the story on that? Was it as smooth as silk? Ah, you know, uh, it's a big hype right now for that one. I know. How do you feel about those toys, Doc? Well, I just got that first Amiga in space, and I'm thrilled with it. Uh, in fact... Oh, I love toys. I love first Amiga in space. I have to say that as much as I love my Daytonas, uh, I I think I could be almost as happy just wearing... Okay, that's a crazy talk, and I'm going to stop it immediately. <laughs> and we have a super chat from Kent Dago, $5. Yeah. Kent Daigle, yell low, low, Kent Daigle, five dollars, yell loudly, buy the fucking Rolex. Loudly, Archie, wake up, Mrs. Uh, wake, in, wake I'm in, up, I'm Mrs. Lai. Yell, <laughs> Archie. He's whispering, that's the opposite. The opposite. <laughs> buy the fucking Rolex. The buy fucking the Rolex. The oh, the Rolex. 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 Thank you, 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 you, thank you, thank you, 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 you're okay, through method doctor. Fuba, 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 fuba. I'll get the zero count because uh, that's it, Ben. Stone the fucking door Monday. <laughs> Super chat from Hans, <laughs> knees, hands, knees, and toes. <laughs> Shout, butt fuckers, butt fuckers, butt fuckers. Chuck fuckers, butt fuckers, butt fuckers. Butt fuckers. By the way, actually, hands, hands, knees, and toes will be buying a Hulk for his son's 30th birthday. Wow, that's so cool. He'll be, sorry, not buying, gifting a Hulk to his son for his 30th birthday. That oh, is that's beyond that's cool. cool. Beyond yeah. cool. I wonder if he's related yeah. to the famous knees and toes. Who's the famous toes. knees and toes? I don't know. He might be related. He has the Hulk, and he'll be gifting that. That's a class act, huh? yeah. hands, knees, and toes. Imagine getting that given to you for your birthday. You'd be, like, buzzing, wouldn't you? That's that, you know what? And that's from Dad. That's something forever. Man, I would just fucking cherish that forever man that's very special and what a watch he will treasure exactly. that for sure yes it is very beautiful stuff don't you think i think i gotta tell I think you ben, there, therefore i am i think i really or i am i really think i hey, really what's do the, what the watch do you have there uh, sirdi what's uh, what's on the wrist i just noticed oh uh, what's that 41 mil uh sub and what do you have oh look at the strap is this uh what is this strap this is interesting you know it's no special it's just some i've seen uh got someone to pick me up off ebay uh, actually the color looks really good on that on that uh sub. yeah i just wanted to rather than buying a watch that's tiffany color it's cheaper to buy a tiffany colored strap true a good point and then well you what what's the brand of the rubber strap? I don't, do you know what? Bear? I don't even know. It's it's not even. So it's not like expensive. rubber B no, or cylinder or any of that. No, it's just like a rubber. It's a rubber B style look. But right. It's a knockoff. They call no, it's it. It's nice, nice and twisty and shit. Cool, man. You know all you have to do now. All you have to do is swap in. You know what I'm going to say, right? You swap in. For the sweep hand, mm -hmm. yeah, you can get one that's painted to match that strap. Yeah, well, I'm off the yacht master. Well, it yeah. wouldn't come off the yacht master, but you could have it. You could have it painted by your watchsmith. It wouldn't cost you that much. As as long as you 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 keep all original shit, I can live with that, Doc. <laughs> 
I always keep my original stuff in the vault. Right. The, the blue bezel off of my bluesy that now has a black bezel, it's in the vault. It's, it's Talk about you, how, do you, how do you feel about putting your wall time on a NATO strap? Ooh, you know what? I would actually Maybe. put my bluesy on a rubber strap. That's actually cool. That. Well, you can. To, and, but I want to retain the buckle. I want to retain the buckle. You know the buckle? The buckle? You know those rubber straps? You can still use the, the end buckle. Yes, buckle? Um, I don't think I would... Um, I don't. I don't want to fuck with the paddock. I'm just going to leave it on its original. That's it. Just leave it. But you can put it on a NATO strap. That would be so cool. Put it on a NATO, Archie, no, and you learn nothing from me, mate. I'm would just you going to go to the wear... toilet. I'll be right back. I'll no, be right back. No, 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 fuck you! I'm not going to let you do that. If you, you go now, you we're got all another back 15 tomorrow. minutes. Hold it. I'm holding it. You hold okay. it. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Vare. I, I love holding it all show. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Super chat, guys. Super chat for Archie to hold it. To hold it for another 15 minutes, okay? That's what I want to see. I want to see support for improving the bladder flexibility. Look, him sat there thinking, what excuse can I use next to get out of it? Super sticker from P Cars Archie, P Cars nineteen seventy, a wonderful guy. We P -Cars, love ten dollars. Look at that, ten dollars super sticker. Thank you so much. I want to see that what so you see. Can you see what's the super sticker? What? Which one did he no, send us? Having a look. Having a look. What is it? No, I can't see it. You cannot see it, okay, Archie. It is a uh, laughing fox. Laughing fox. Yeah. A laughing fox. Doc, what would you do if your missus went into your uh, vault and then she come back to you and there she went, oh, you had some old bits of watches in there, so I just threw them out. Well, you know what? That's part of the reason I got rid of the missus. Uh, she would do stuff. <laughs> she would do stuff like that. She would I do love stuff like how that. he said that so nonchalant. He said yeah, it maybe. in a very, very relaxed format. It's it was getting just my life. Getting it's something divorced, that happened. Getting divorced in a relaxed format. Oh, I'd be sick. <laughs> Imagine it. Come in and got all your old dials and hands and bezel I, and just threw them out and says, "Oh, I've done you a favor. I've cleaned you." Thing you up so you can fit more stuff in it. When I was in college, I used to play uh, uh, this thing called frisbee uh, ultimate. It's like it's like golf with frisbees. It's crazy, but I was playing it. And one of the things that happened was I bought all these frisbees that then became worth five, six, seven hundred dollars because they were still in the package. So I left them in the package. One day I couldn't find them. They were in the garage, but I couldn't find them. I spent over a week looking for them periodically. And she finally said, I took those to Goodwill. They were in the way. Huh. What a fucking... What were, what said, were you looking for again? Just say that again. I was, I was looking for Frisbees that I, had, that I had kept since college. Oh, my God. Not vintage Frisbees. Yes. They were still in the package and everything. You're joking. She original? Took good no, original? Of course they were original. They were in the package. Did you have hula hoops next to them? They were Frisbees that were made for Ultimate. They next, you're going to tell me she threw the yo-yos out, the Fanta one. <laughs> she, all, I, she, all I know is I spent, I spent many weeks going out in the garage on the weekends. When I had the weekend off, I'd go out into the garage looking, and I'd say, I know they're around here somewhere. Oh. Until finally, so she told me you? she took him to Goodwill. That's worse than it. Put you through the pain of looking for a. Could you, could you go there? Did, they sell? did you go to the Goodwill to see if you could buy them? Hell no, they were gone by then. She didn't even tell me oh, for several first. weeks that I was looking for them. 
every weekend I would go out saying, I know that these damn things, things are in, things here, are in somewhere. here somewhere. And then eventually she's like, uh, I took them to Goodwill. They were kind of in the way. I said, oh, you might want to go on eBay because eBay had just started when this happened. It was around 2005. I said, you might want to go on eBay and look and see how much those Frisbees sell for. <laughs> so at least I got her a little bit pissed off at herself because they were $500, $600, $700 Frisbees that she took to Goodwill. Holy shit. $600 Frisbees. What, how much, what the fuck? Well, because the they were originals, in, man. They were originals. Holes as well. They were in the factory boxes with the original. Come on, I mean, guys, I'm really busting for a piss. Can you please super chat to hold me here? <laughs> <laughs> Pissy pumps. <laughs> guys, guys, guys. Anyway, thanks, Serdy. You gave me a flashback to that as soon as you asked the question. Uh, yeah, it just it comes straight to my mind thinking because a lot of women will just think it's all junk and you know parts that you. Can I tell you a want. throwaway story? Can I, uh -oh. hey, Bear? Bear? Can I tell you that? <laughs> can I tell you, Ronnie, my friend Ronnie? Oh my god! Yeah. He, he had a reverso JLC Jaguar Culture reverso tribute to nineteen thirty one, the black one. Oh, okay. he put the box and the original strap away. He put an aftermarket strap on to protect it. She threw away the box, the oh, papers, no. and the strap. Oh, do, you know what's, do you know what's painful about that, Archie? The fact that he didn't get a chance to use his original strap. He preserved I know, it. I know. Oh, that killed me, that. I know. That just, I just. I just like I, I am must admit I've You wanna know why though? You wanna know why she did that? Why I know why. I know why. Why? Because it was in the way. That's why yeah. but wouldn't she have looked at least what's inside this box before it's you could have money? It's in the way. It doesn't matter. It's in the way. We got Jimmy five dollars. Think of a beautiful flowing waterfall arch. Five dollars. I just oh, need I to think, check. I, I, I think, I think, I think Jimmy, Jimmy Super Chat, Jimmy Super Chat just tied us with the uh, grifter. We were five bucks behind. Now we are, we are even. He's also Thank trying you. to get you to calm down about having to go to the, to the toilet. Just Thank just, you, Jimmy. Thank you, Jimmy. Just think of a flowing waterfall and you won't have to go. Just think of this. This is life here. Is that open, Archie? <laughs> yeah. Archie, show the you strength. Archie, show the strength. Show the strength. Focus. Focus. Look at my bare eyes. Look at my bare ears. Yeah, please. All right, focus. I'm a good bear. <clears throat> I'm a good burr. <laughs> good burr. Okay, guys, Wait. let's go through this list of people to thank today. Let's go through the go list. Slowly, oh, I, go slowly, I appreciate them. We've got many people to thank. We had Toyota Mo. Love, medium legend, Toyota Mo. Yankee Doodle. Yankee Doodle, we, I love you. By the way, Yankee. You know, you know that story about the lady who turned out to be a prostitute in the wine bar. I stood up Yankee Doodle to see her. I thought she was my hot date. I stood up Yankee for her. That's the other side of the story that you never knew, Bear. Hey, Archie. Yes. The bo the boss approved the show. He says nice show, AC. Oh, thank you. Eric L. We had Stud Muffin, Duco. The Mask, Yankee Doodle, Lemon Curly Curly, Patel Philippe, Spinnaker. I haven't seen Spinnaker for ages. Thanks for coming, Spinnaker. Patel Philippe, Patel Philippe, Lemon Curly Curly, Patel Philippe, Herman Love, Ali Baba 69, Patel Philippe, Hands, Knees and Toes, Patel Philippe, Patel Philippe, Patel Philippe. David, Patel Philippe, 
Jefferson Exotic, Toyota Mo, Patel Philippe, Patel Philippe, Ali Barber 69, Spinnaker, Spinnaker, Kent Dogel, Kent Daigle, it's Daigle, Daigle, Daigle. Hands, knees and toes, P cars and Jimmy. There we go, Bear. That's the people for today. Very nice, Where's... Archie. Very nice. Yeah, thank you so much, guys. It's been a good show. No, 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 big boy. You got another five minutes and twenty seconds. See the okay. clock on the top left corner. Yeah, I know, I know. I can see it, Bear. I know you're the boss, but I'm. I'm also paid to ensure that you do the work. Three hours, bear. We've got to do you this. Fooled, I mean, you fooled 30 anyway, daily, but you didn't fool the bear. One mm. thing I do have feelings for do you honestly think I should not sell the sell the world time to get a, a day day? I don't think it's enough money. Oh, I wouldn't goodness have gracious. No, that's your best watch. That's a grail. No. You haven't even worn the, worn the fucking thing. I, oh. I'm shocked. I am shocked that you even considering that. You're going back to Brisbane, you're going to actually take that watch out and enjoy it. And uh, frankly, I would wear that going to that Dubai because it is hot, but it's a dry weather. Enjoy, wear the world time uh, watch when you travel the world. Uh, have a, create a beautiful memory with that watch. Uh, that's what's about, big boy. I, I mean, in all honesty, I, I'm shocked that you don't miss that watch. <coughs> well, I have to have worn it to miss it, don't I? <coughs> no, no, it's like you know about it. You, aren't you like thinking about that watch and thinking I can't wait to put it on my wrist? Having mm. is not so pleasing a thing after all is wanting normally, right? I guess so, yeah. So mm, actually, not not point. having it should make you desire it even more. I do want to thank yeah. the leads for his comment. He says, "Good show." I want to thank the this desert head for acknowledging that the show was good. Um, thank you guys. And uh, whiskey reaper show, showing his patriotic colors. Discount doing his shtick. Thank you for Canadian flag as well. Whiskey Reaper. Thank you to P Cars. Thank you to Mark Paris for being here. Hans Knees and Toes. Ken Daigle, Jimmy. Um, thank you to uh, Ryan oh, Joffrey. To, 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 uh, even, and, even, uh, go ahead, even, Doc. Even, even Discount said it was a good show. He put a question mark at the end, but he did say it was a good show. Yeah. I mean, not a question mark. It's actually a deformed face, but okay. Oh, that's even better. Yeah. No, no, no. As long as we enthused him and, 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 and he actually liked something. And uh, obviously, I want to thank Patel for not just Super Chats, but bringing... Uh, fantastic questions and and creating a bit of a dialogue on watches and so on. Uh, I enjoyed that very much, and I'm very thankful for that. And to answer knees and toes, some people think I resemble Estrada. I personally don't think so, but some people do. I picture I like you like Estrada. that. I oh like no, him. I like him too. I'm just I'm just Archie, saying. I don't, I don't Archie, does he resemble Estrada? You know, Estrada did his own stunts. Archie, does he resemble Estrada? <laughs> I thought he, did he was his own Estrada. stunts, really? I don't think so. Yes, he did. And he never actually spoke Spanish when he did chips. He learned Spanish later. And uh, uh, Mookie, okay. the retired Mookie, is here. I want to say big hello to Mookie. Uh, Ross Rachel Brady, nice to see you. Uh, He's wishing us all to have a good poops today, which is very important, guys. And that's a good wish for yes, all of us. I've been us. eating those dates, man. Those dates have been helping with that. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's a fiber. That's Ross that's Rachel good. Brady's way of saying have a nice day. It's, of course. It's, of it's, course. That's very nice. Very nice. Is there any shows following your show tonight, Archie, or no? No idea. Tan is in charge of the link. 
Okay. Okay. I don't even um, He hasn't mentioned anything, so I guess we don't have any show after, guys. Uh, we are very thankful for Archie's engagement and everyone that makes Archieverse so great. Archie, you have last words. Remind people to upvote, go full screen, and let's uh, go to take a nap. Guys, thank you so much there. I drank three of these on the show to keep me awake. And I really, really want to let the water out. Guys, thank you so much for coming. It's been a great show. I had a great time last night. I went out, did the plaza. Um, um, I I am going to really appreciate all your support, guys. And coming back on Sunday, two more shows for me. And uh, I won't disappoint, Bear. Will not disappoint. There we go, Bear. The show. See you Good later. job, Archibald. You pulled it through. I'm very proud of you, Archie. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you for pushing, Bear. We need to push, you know. That's all good. All right. Thank you. See you later. Well, see you later. Thank you for coming.